What's up? We're going to cover a lot. We're going to cover um, this interview that Tasha K did with Storm Monroe and some up, some de award developments in that. So we're definitely going to get into that. We got a full show today, right after the countdown. <laughs> Right, so I won't be able to see myself while I'm absolutely on camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my phone because apparently um, this internet is just really not working with StreamYard. So I don't know if y'all would be able to hear me in it. So give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna go on my phone really quickly, and then when we open up the phone lines, I will come back on StreamYard. So it's apparently something is going on. But we have a full show today. Give me a second. Full show today. I'm gonna. I'm going to go on the phone really quick. The phone was on crystal clear uh, versus that. So give me a second on the stream, y'all. Give me a second. Make sure y'all share this live and thumbs up. There we go. Okay, give me a second. All right. There we go. Okay, should be better now. All right, because it's up to go on the internet. Because apparently I have to get uh, a new cord, internet thing, and I can't find it. And so when you're on the Wi-Fi, it's like choppy and stuff like that. So I'm gonna find it on the um, on the uh, the cord. And so I'm gonna go tomorrow and pick it up uh, because apparently I cannot find. It. I don't know what I do with this cord to plug it up to direct connect. Usually we won't have those problems because trying to go live on the Wi-Fi is like an issue and a problem. But nevertheless, we are live. Now, apparently we went live on Instagram and you all were able to see a clip that we posted on Instagram concerning this Storm and Roll interview and stuff like that. But before I get into that, I want to give a full breakdown on the reason why Tasha K and Amara Wiggins are not friends. And I want to give you all this full breakdown for people that do not know. Um, Tasha K and uh, uh, Armand Wiggins were never particularly friends. They were friendly, but never particularly friends. We have to go all the way back to 2018, 2019, back in the time where we had uh, uh, the whole situation with, uh, I would say, Mona Simone. Y'all remember that? The whole situation with her actually interviewing uh, somebody. It was, a, it was a situation she was interviewing Star Marie. And Mona Simone had the interview, and I guess, you know, she, Tasha K stole the interview, or according to Mona, took the interview from Mona Simone. So uh, with this uh, conversation led to this new YouTuber by Amar Wiggins. When I say new YouTuber, he was new in the game, uh, coming up in these streets. So he decided to go live and post Tasha and to post, uh, and to post um, Star Marie on this live. Um, not Star Marie, Mona Simone. So he pretty much was on the side, pretty much a little neutral, understand what was going on. And Tasha K, this Tasha K person hit the link and she called it to his show. Because this was before StreamYard, this was before any of that entity. You literally had to call in or he would have to like schedule on Skype. But she wasn't on Skype, she just was on the phone. So she was having this conversation about Mona Simone, and then, you know, Amara was covered this again. Tasha K called in again. She's like, oh, I love you. You're so dope. You're so amazing. So she was sharing Amara Wiggins on her website. She was sharing him on her social media, all of her social media, and they picked up a friendship. 
and uh, they had they, they start having conversations and stuff. And this time, I was in the Armada Wiggins camp, meaning that I was friends with him. I would go on the show. I was actually on one of those episodes when Tasha K called in, and uh, I remember he said, "You know, Tasha K is going to be his mentor, or she's going to help him." And I said, "You know, I just be very, very careful with 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 uh, with Tasha K. Uh, I don't think you should do it." I told him. Uh, this I don't know if y'all ever heard this, but I told him I said I don't think that you should be getting involved with Tasha K or get involved with that situation because I I just did not trust it at that moment. I didn't know too much details about Tasha. She could have been a nice lady, but I remember what I told him. I said don't do it. Okay, they listen to me. He did it. So they had this relationship. So she would help him out and stuff like that. He would get on the phone and talk to her. He really looked up to Tasha K. She was the all, she was, she was like literally the queen of this social media stuff. So they had this relationship. And the part of this relationship, it got a little sour. Okay. This is let me tell you how it got sour. And I'm gonna tell you, this is my opinion on why I got sour. So do not. <laughs> get mad at me with my opinion. So it got a little sour. So Armand had a conversation with Tasha concerning the Dr. CB. You know, the family of Dr. CB were going around wanting to interview. So according to Armand, they reached out to him for an interview. And he told Tasha, hey, Dr. CB family want me to interview them on my show, what do you think about that? So it's a conversation. Armand Wiggins woke up one day to Dr. CB family, his wife and daughter on the show. I think it was his wife and his daughter on the show. Tasha K interviewed them in the station, in the radio station. And Armand Wiggins were, were caught off guard because they were supposed to come on his show, and it was on Tasha K show. And the team was that Tasha K told them, Dr. CB family, do not interview with other bloggers because you're interviewing with me. So Armand was caught off guard. Like, what's going on? Like, they supposed to be on my show. You supposed to be my mentor. You're supposed to be this person that I look up to, and this particular interview that I'm doing, it ends up on your show, and they supposed to interview with me. So ever since that day, it got sour. And of course, uh, Tasha K uh, did a live, and... I believe on my hit the link. He said, I, I know you're talking about me. And then Tasha K was like, what do you mean? I don't know you like that. We're not friends. I know you for 29 days. What do you mean? You all in your feelings. And, you know, Armand being an emotional person like he was back when he was very emotional, he go live. It was like, Tasha K did this and this would happen. And she lied on me. He go live. And then fast forward, we just talking. I'm just giving my... Um, opinion in there. Give me a second. Can y'all hear me? Give me a second. Can y'all hear me? I want to make sure y'all can hear me. Just let me know in the comments if y'all can hear me. Give me a second. I want to make sure we good. Okay, y'all can hear me. So let's do a little fast forward. One particular day. Uh, Tasha K decided to have gunshots or bombs or gunshots on her live. And Omar, and Omar Wiggins felt like that she was stealing from him. Remember that. Then it goes to, 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 to this whole thing where Tasha went live and she said, I'm known for 29 days and this and this. And you have to put me in this because during that time, I wasn't cool with Armand. I was real critical of Armand. I was dragging Armand. I was saying all type of stuff about Armand Wiggins. So Tasha K, uh, come on the live and be like, "Hi, Wiley. This is Tasha. How you doing?" I'm like, "How you doing, Tasha K? What you know? How's everything doing?" Uh, and she come on the show and she explained to us the beef between her and Armand Wiggins or what happened. I only know for twenty hours or whatever. In that episode. 
Armand Lucas called in. He was like, well, if she can do a press tour, I can do a press tour too. Ain't no B gonna stop me and this is what I'm doing. Blah, 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 blah. He was just throwing shots. And uh, that, that happened in that case. And so when it happened in that situation, you know, they wasn't cool. It was very sour. Mom would go live. He would drag. He, he would drag Tasha K all on his social media, all on his YouTube. Ta Tasha K would go live on other platforms, do it. And then Storm Monroe is in the picture. Uh-oh. Who was the storm? A storm come. Storm went. She he was announced as Tasha K new mentee. This is right after Tasha K and Amar was fell out. This is right after Tasha K and Amar was going back and forth on social media. Then a storm come. Then she said, "This is my new mentee." And then Storm picked up a bone. And he decided to drag not only Armand Wiggins, but to drag his family. You can't see that live because that live is private. Having a conversation, reading Storm, reading Armand Wiggins' family as well as Armand Wiggins. And then he said, I'm going to do a prescription on her. Boom. And then Ar Armand Wiggins was like, whoa, what's going on here? Like, who is this guy coming at me? We are not the same. So he decided on his live a couple of years ago, he decided to go live and to drag Storm Royal. He called Storm Royal gay. He called Storm Royal the DL. He called Storm Royal the S word. He called Storm Royal the F word. He, he decided to just drag, 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 drag. And of course, the, the, the subscribers will say, you would never be like Storm. Storm is better than you. It was like a whole little world that it was our mile against the storm. Of course, you got to bring my name up in here because I played a scenario. And then I was like, hey, uh, who will get to 100,000 followers, Storm or 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 Armand Wiggins? And I played it to the narrative. So he dragged Storm Moreau about his sexuality. And he was the first YouTuber with a massive platform, talking about Armand, to drag Storm about his sexuality. So he dragged him. And then at that time, um, Tasha was on my live. She said, you know, can't wait for that clap back. Storm never clapped back to uh, to Armand Wiggins. He never clapped back when Armand Wiggins said that. So we're going to move forward. And then, of course, Armand felt wrong by Tasha. Then we have to go towards this interview that Tasha K interview Storm. And Let's put a pause right there before we get to that interview. Let me name Lovely T and Daytime T Top. Let me name Daytime T Top for a second. Can I name him for a second? All right, thank you. So, <laughs> uh, Candace was very close with Tasha K. They were good, good girlfriends. Good, good girlfriends. Okay, we interviewed Candace on the show. They were really, really good good girlfriends so Armand because Candace was attached to Tasha he said it is a spirit of bloggers trying to stop my bags it's this girl Candace that does cartoons that don't have a personality it's literally trying to and when I do content she would do content to get me knocked out of the algorithm. He was just going on and on about Candace because Candace was attached to, to Tasha K. And he felt that Candace were picking up a bone and trying to come at him under Tasha K orders. You remember that? And he said, oh, you stick with the cartoons. You don't have no personality. You're this and you're that. And so they, they, were, they were having a beef. They were having a beef. And... Of course, I go live, I do my commentary. You know, anytime I hear some stuff go on, I'm going to go live and I'm going to be messy and I'm going to wake it up. So that goes on. One particular day, Tasha K and Candace broke up. They're no longer friends no more. Tasha dragged Candace. Boom. Candace and Armand linked up. And they met each other in person for the first time. Now, Correct me wrong, it was Erica Banks that came into this picture that, you know, Candace interviewed Erica Banks, and then Armand Wiggins interviewed Erica Banks, and then Erica Banks invited both Candace and Armand to come to the city to see her, to come to an event, and to see her and to be at the house, and they met up, 
And while they met up and having this event, they took a picture. And all this, my friend, it was like a big thing. This is my friend. Hey, friend. How you doing, friend? Hey, friend. Candace was doing all this. And, 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 you know, people were shocked because Tasha K used to drag Candace, call her Christian Candace. See, that she was such this Christian woman, that she was just this holy woman. And she's out here taking all these pictures with Erica Banks cheek to cheek. And she's supposed to be a Christian. Of course, you got to add me to the mix because I go live. I talked about it. I said, why she got a cheek to cheek to this? And she's a married woman. And you in the same hotel with a man that's not your husband. What is going on here? So I went in. I, I was in that whole narrative. Okay. Okay. So let's move forward. So Storm get interviewed with Tasha K. Now, I'm sitting here because the number one, I'm a fan of everybody. Okay, I'm a fan of everybody. I sit in my chair and a clip came out and she said, Storm, you know, a lot of people are mad. A lot of people are so mad that we linked up. I'm like, is this a shot towards our mind? Like, who is the people? Who is mad here? Like, I was like, is, was that up? No one really talked about that, that introduction. No one even talked about that clip. No one talked about it. I saw it. I moved on. I said, okay, let me watch this interview. We learned that Storm Aro was asexual. We learned that Storm Aro almost smashed a white woman. We learned that Storm Aro uh, got his rent paid for touch code. We learned some things about Storm Aro. We learned that he's an educated brother. He got his bachelor's degree. Boom, boom, boom. He's independent. All this type of stuff. We learn this stuff, and then we get to the end of the video. Towards the end, hashtag the end of the interview, close to the end. See, when you watch content, you got to watch the beginning, the middle, and the end. Because if you just watch the beginning, Oh, Storm said he's asexual and all that. You you, you go miss up. You got to watch the beginning, middle, and end. So of course, towards the end of the interview, yeah, Storm. Uh, it was this guy. It was this interview. This guy that dragged you, and I know he felt bad. And I told you don't respond. And he called me. Who is the guy? That guy is Armand Wickens. Tasha K was talking about when our mob niggas drag storm our own sexuality. And so Tasha brought it up in the interview. The only thing I say to Kiwi Studios, to Tasha K, and to the producers, Chelsea, and all of them, don't just bring up a subliminal. Put the person name of who you talking about so we all can know who you're talking about. The reason why I know is because I'm messy. I, I, I'm aware of this situation. I know who you're talking about. Cause I seen it all, so you ain't gonna that ain't gonna go over my head. But to the general public that may not know about it, say the person name or who we talking about. So they having a conversation. It was a guy that told me he called me, and I'm gonna just say Armand Wiggins name. And Armand called me and said, you know, um, tell Storm he's sorry. He didn't mean to drag him because he 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 felt bad and stuff like that. And I got I have a problem with you. Then Storm said I saw the text, and then Tasha said it was a phone call. So we really don't know what it was. Was it a phone call or was it a text? So we hear this, and then Storm said, "Well, I was wrong because I shouldn't even brought up nobody family. So I was wrong for the and then Tasha." Don't worry about it. If you talk about they family, so what? You can drag it. It's okay. Drag, drag, drag. Storm felt bad. He felt in his spirit that I dragged his family and I shouldn't have did that. But Tasha said, no, no, no. You, you can drag whatever, whatever. What Storm should have told Tasha, sister, I believe I hear what you're saying. But I was wrong for bringing up that man family because one thing about a mom with his family, they're not content creators. They're not on YouTube. They ain't say nothing about that man's sexual. His daddy didn't say nothing about it. His mama didn't say nothing about it. His sisters and brothers didn't say nothing. They, they never mentioned a storm or row ever in life. 
So they have nothing to do with this. This is between you and Armand Wiggins and Storm. But Tasha said, F that. You can drag. But what Storm should have told her, no. I was wrong because I should have never brought up his family. That's the piece that when I heard that, I was like, wow, Storm Monroe apologized to Armand Wiggins. But people forget that Storm came after Armand Wiggins first. People forget that because the videos is on private. See, when you private stuff, you, you, you take it down in the private, it make it seem like it was Armand Wiggins that went at or that Storm Monroe first. No, 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 no. Ask Mr. Wiley, and I'm going to tell you it was Storm that came after Armand Wiggins first. The reason why you don't see that video is because it's private. It's private. You ain't going to be able to see it. So you can go back to Armand Wiggins, clap back, and you would think, oh, my God, why would Armand Wiggins say that? But you would have to ask Storm where your clap back at. And Stormer, Stormer wrote, apologize for what he said, okay? But I, I, let me drink a little bit of my KFC. Hold on. This is where, and I say this with love, even Storm said he picked up a lot of Tasha K. Bones. You have to be very careful. Though you are a Minty of a person. You have to be careful picking up that person, Tasha K. Battles. If she's battling somebody, let her go tip a tap on that. But if you pick up her battle, you in return get into the mess as well. When the shots get thrown, you get hit. Boom, 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 boom. He picked up some of her battles. And so in return, they started to come after Storm. And then Tasha said, Storm, I feel bad for Storm Monroe because he wasn't prepared for all this stuff because they were coming at Storm really hard, right? But he picked up some of her battles. And sometimes when you are a mentee or, or you follow somebody and you ain't about that life, see, I'm different. I'm about that life. I pick up a bone. I eat chicken bone. I pick it up. If I feel like picking it up, I pick it up and I, I, I go get the swing. I'm just that type of person. I'm an entertainer. It is what it is. I, I know how to roast and gag. I'm from the. I'm from from a whole sector in Chicago. That's all we did was just talk about people. I used to expose people and all types of stuff. a lot of stuff I used to do. So I'm a different type of person. If I want to pick up that bone, I will pick it up and start swinging. Your battle become our battle. I, I would do that. But I think for Storm, he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't prepared for that heat that came up in that situation. But the way Tasha K made it seem like with Armand Wiggins, that Armand Wiggins called, oh, I feel so bad. And, so, and you know me, let me drink some of my can, see? I'm the type of person, if I see some, if I have the source information, I'm gonna go to the source. So I had a call, phone call with Armand Wiggins. I had to call him. We had to talk. I had to bring this up. He didn't know what was going on. I had to bring it up because I'm a news reporter. And if I got the source's information, why not call the source? Hey, what you got to say? You know, this type of stuff. This, this was saying, this is this, this. Did you call Tasha? Did you plead with her that you apologize to Storm? That you were so emotional that you apologize and stuff like that? And, 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 and she said that you are inferior to her and all, I'm a reporter. And if I have that person, I'm, and let's bring up the question. Are you inferior to Tasha K? Cause that's what Tasha K, that's what Tasha K said. A lot of people, it's not going to pay $12.99 to hear the mess. I'm going to pay it cause I'm like, what's going on? So I can see what's going on here. And you know, let's, let's, talk, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Everybody ain't going to do what I do and pay the $12.99. I got $12.99 to pay the $12.99. Why I'm going to give me some KFC. Let me go and watch this CGC that I missed something. I'm like, oh, okay. This would be a good day to talk about it on a Sunday. I said, let's go ahead and talk about it. And she said, oh, he called and he pleaded as though like he pleaded and begged for an apology to apologize to Storm. That's what she said. That's how, how 
she put it, and I said, "Well, let's go on here and let's get this conversation started. Let's let's get let's 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 just see where where the headspace at because it's some conflicted stuff here." Storm says he he saw a text, and and Tasha K said it was a phone call. That's so that's a confliction right then and there. It's a confliction there, and I said I really need to know what's going on. And I covered this stuff because I sat down just like the rest of y'all. I'm gonna sit down here and have this conversation with y'all in here, and we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna see what is going on, whose side is on. Now I will say this: our mind and Tasha. The reason why they're not friends is because they have some similarities. They're not all the way similar. One, Armand is a man. Tashke is a was a woman. So it's a difference right there. But they have some similarities. They have some similarities, baby. If you put them in the same room and stuff like that, I, I, I talked. They have some similarities. And the similarities are there is that I'm a leader. This is how I run stuff. Ain't nobody going to tell me, but this is how I see it. And Tasha K see it this way. And no mom will see it. And they're going to clash because they both are bosses. And sometimes when you a boss and deal with this boss and it, and then they got they got a situation that never got resolved is with that Dr. CB interview. So the question is, who did the family reach out to first? Did you steal that interview from my mom? Again? So right then and there, it's a, a problem with them two concerning an interview. And the question is, is, is Tasha K word against Armand Wiggins word? But at the end of the day, and I probably will call the family. Do I have my phone? Do I have my phone? Okay, I'm on my phone right now. I, I will try to text the family and ask them, who did you reach out for? Did you reach out to Tasha K first? Or did you reach out to Armand Wiggins first? Because there's some disagreements with that interview. I think that if, if that never would have happened, they, they still would have clashed. It should have been something. It had been about something else. But with that interview, it's something with that. Like, who did they reach out to first? Okay? And, 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 and I'm just like, they, they have the similarity. They both, they both have this, they, they both have an ego. They both, they both, they both run their show a different way. But just to think about Armand and with Tasha, that people don't know. They think that Armand Wiggins started on YouTube. He just became a YouTube person. That was it. That's not that's the case. I know I played in that narrative because when you beef it, you ain't going to give the real story. You're going to leave some pieces out because you're beefing. But he started out on Facebook. He even started out way before Facebook that I didn't even was privy to. But I can only talk about what I knew was Facebook. He would go live. He would talk about LGBT topics. He would drag people. He would bring them on camera. He even had an idea even before StreamYard. It, he would bring people on Uva. If y'all don't know what Uva is, it's like Skype where you can bring like six or seven people on there. And they, we would argue. We would fight. We, it was all type of drama that we would talk about. He even interviewed one of the victims and Pulse Nightclub, I think one of them was went to Pulse Nightclub, and he interviewed one of the guys from Pulse Nightclub, I believe so. He had interviewed him. So he had been doing this stuff for a long time. He would connect the TV to the person on the video, so and he had his phone in the garage. It was a lot of stuff way before YouTube, right? He was doing this way before YouTube. So if you don't know, you have to really research a person to know it. And I, and I knew that, and I didn't. I, I stayed silent because when you beefing, you ain't gonna try to make them look good. You can like let them just get dragged. Another piece where Armand because of Tasha K played into Tasha when Armand got into that OG situation. Hashtag OG, OG. Mm -hmm. When that OG situation happened, and he said OG looks like a monkey. All right. When that topic happened. That opened the door for everybody that did not like Ormond Wiggins. Use that, including myself. He don't like black women. He said, OG looks like a monkey. Black women shouldn't subscribe to that. Everything like that. He don't like OG and talking to that, this, that, that. And then Tasha K said, he don't like black women. What black man will sit there and call us? But we are not monkeys. We are beautiful black women. Then you have Storm and Rose had that. And it was like, it was like he was canceled at that day. That, that particular episode, it canceled him. And then people that did not like him went live and played into that narrative and said, hey, I'm not like that. And the people were subscribing. They were watching. They said they're going to unsubscribe. He lost some subscribers in that point. And, of course, he gained it back. Everything he lost, he quadrupled that. But I'm just going back to that point. 
that people had unsubscribed that day and people that did not like him use that and weaponize it and ran with this narrative that he don't like black women, that he has something against black women. And that was the narrative for a long time where people were utilizing, including myself, including Tasha, including Storm. They were playing on this narrative uh, of this situation. I remember, I would never forget the email that we even sent OG, OG. And I said, hey, I love black women. You are a beautiful chocolate sister. I have my editor write a letter to OG for an interview. And I put in parentheses that you are a beautiful chocolate woman. <laughs> and I remember I sent it to her. I wanted to OG interview. Of course, she didn't come on our show. I think she went on Storm Moral show. And that was one of the points. And of course, he apologized. And of course, he gained those supporters back. But to this day, some people remember, some people don't. So they played into that narrative. But back to the whole Tasha K and Omar Wiggins uh, place, I don't necessarily, uh, again, will see them together or, you know, to be friends or, or to necessarily uh, be cool. I can see them doing a show. Because I think Armand will show up as well as Tasha will show up. I will see them doing a panel and they will talk and they will discuss. But to seeing them being lovey-dovey like a Candace and Armand, I don't necessarily see them actually doing that. I don't I don't necessarily see him being that type of person with her. And I don't see her being that type of person with him. And, we, and you have to ask both of them, well, why you don't like him? What's the reason? And then you have to ask her, why you don't like a mom? What's the reason? Whatever their conclusion is, is their, is their conclusion. But the reason why we're bringing them up today is because I saw that clip and I posted it on Instagram. Make sure y'all go and check that clip out. And I played it for you all to see it. And then somebody DM me. They said, Wow, I didn't know who she was talking about. Thanks for letting me know. I said, Yeah, I'm gonna let you know because I'm a commentary. I said, That's what this, she was. She was bringing him up. And then, but then you also got to talk about Storm part where he tried to apologize to Armand Wiggins. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's good that Storm and Armand is not allowing outside forces to make them beef. That's a good thing. They 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 said, listen, what I did was wrong. We could be cordial. We hey, and now we don't have to be cool and like kumbaya. But let's be cordial. I'm not gonna be for you. You're not gonna be for me and everything like that. That's a good thing. But but they could play in this narrative for a lot of people would love to see them both go at it and clash and beef. Okay. All right. Uh, again, and so I just went on and did this video and I said, hey, we're going to have this conversation. We're going to break this down so y'all to hear it. And then I said, I have to bring it down for this sort of people that do not know. And the people that do know, that care, thank you. For the almost 300 people that's here, thank you. Um, because we have to bring this up. And the reason why I watched it, it was very entertaining. And that last part of it is just really, really good. Now, I think that Storm and Armand should have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and have that conversation. That would be a beautiful conversation. And so they can just talk and apologize. I don't, I, and Tasha K and Armand should have a conversation. And, but you would have to talk about who stole the interview. And, and I, and I, listen, I, I'm, I may even make this post tomorrow to Zeus. Maybe Zeus need to have our Miles Wiggins and Tasha K do a conversation. I know I reached. I, I know I put this on Instagram that, uh, about a couple of weeks ago about the Kai and T.S. Madison. But I would love for a conversation of Tasha K and Amar Wiggins have a conversation on Zeus. I would love to see that. Okay, I would love to see a conversation with them two at it and have that conversation. It would be. I would love to see it. So I'm going to definitely put that post out tomorrow. And you ain't got to worry about bringing no wheelchairs, no crutches, just bringing those two out to have a conversation. All right. So now I'm going to open up the phone lines. I'm going to allow y'all to call in. Shout out to Amara Wiggins. He said, absolutely not. She is such a liar. And Amara Wiggins run with that narrative and said that Tasha K is a liar. It is. That's what he said. They said, okay. All right. So I'm just giving my commentary here. All right. Thought that was history. Oh, and I'm just reading y'all comments. We're going to know about the fall lines and stuff like that. We definitely going to open the fall lines and let y'all talk about it. Don't, don't think Tasha K will step. We'll, hold on. Step outside of TV Studios. I wouldn't. If the check is right, I really enjoy your growth. I'm so proud of you. I remember when you had uh, the air mattress and you moved on up to the east side. <laughs> well, quite is. <laughs> 
I, I'm just here. We 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 gonna open up the phone lines and then I'm gonna allow y'all to call in and and have this conversation. And the reason why I brought it up is because number one, I'm a commentator. Number two, I'm messy. And when I say I'm messy, I'm messy in the context that I, it's just good commentary. This would be good. Y'all want to know this. Y'all here watching. Ain't no three people in, the, in, in here watching. Almost 300 folks watching. So obviously it's something there, right? So let's 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 be 100% clear here. Y'all here watching. So that's, hold on. How would I be able to do this? I'm going to have to give y'all the stream yard because if I go on my computer, it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to drop the stream yard link. I'm going to have to drop it. Hold on one second. Do I have it to drop? Give me one second because they couldn't hardly hear me when I was live. Let me go back on StreamYard. Let me see. Give me a second, you guys, because I'm trying to um, to make y'all hear that because the speaker wasn't working. Give me one second. The speaker wasn't working. Oh, Betty, yet. Hold on one second. Let me see. Oh, hold on. I'm about to see something. I'm just trying to see if I'm being able to. All right. Let me turn this down. Let's see. And then I'm going to have to get another speaker. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> I should have went to get that cord today, but apparently, let me see. Is hold on. I'm doing something real quick. All right, hold on. Let me see if I I'm open up the phone lines. I want to be able to see if y'all can hear it. Cause last time my speaker wasn't working, but it looks like it's working now. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see something. Oh, it is working. Okay. Like last time it wasn't working. Oh, it's working. Okay. I guess it is working. All right, we can open up the phone lines. I have to drop something real quick. Put your show now. Press one to hear important. Your show is scheduled to start in 25 seconds. All right, 25 seconds, you guys. Let me do something real quick. Hey. There will definitely be a conversation worth watching. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, so the number is 646. Hopefully it works, you guys. 646-716-8447. All right, that is the number. Why is it saying waiting on? Oh, okay. I don't know if it's going to work, so y'all let me know. Okay. Let me see. I, I need to see. Let me see. Hold on one second. Hold on. See, I'm using a phone. I, w I would have played it. I'm using a phone right quick. <laughs> Just crazy. I'm using a phone, so I can't do it. They said mine has the same. They said. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me post the number in here if you want to call in. 
Give me a second, you guys. Okay. Hold on. I would have played the audio, but I didn't get her permission. She probably ain't going to let me play that. I put it on Instagram. So if y'all want to see, I, I played it on, on Instagram. So if y'all on there, I definitely played it on Instagram. And I have that actually, it is in my phone. I'm actually using my phone right now. Oh my gosh. I'm actually, yeah. And I played it on Instagram. They said, my well, why are you a fucking Naniva? Oh, y'all talking about Swaggy Daniva? No, he's not in the chat. Or my Wiggins is in the chat. All right. So I broke this down because I wanted people to I wanted people to hear this. Uh, but if you missed it, and that the reason why I went back into the video because that last part of it uh, is something I wanted to cover. Uh, and I, you heard it here first on the Wiley Show because nobody else covered it, right? People probably doesn't care. People don't have their twelve ninety nine, or people, you know, a lot of commentators since it's on another tier or another platform, they don't want to pay twelve ninety nine to go see it. But we paid for it, and I said, "Hey, I'm going to cover this uh, on the on the uh, on, on the Wiley Show, and I'm going to have this conversation with you all about this topic." Um, and and you gotta understand, it's a lot of YouTubers don't don't get along. Because if you even go back to the whole lovely T Tasha, that fell that fell apart. Candace and Tasha, that fell apart. So a lot of times people don't necessarily get along with their other colleagues in this YouTube space. It's a lot of friendships. The only friendship that I've seen on YouTube that actually thrived for like years, and that is uh Kevin and Mikhail. We got a video that's coming on that next uh tomorrow. Uh, but that was like the only friendship that I've seen last over 10, that's going on 13, 14 years worth of them getting along. Uh, but I've, but lately when people have YouTube ships, it don't necessarily last long because people think this is a competition and that if you win, I'm not going to be able to win. But once you get mature and once you know that, it would, it would definitely be that type of place. And we'll definitely have that type of conversation. And people are here when we cover it. Just like now, a person in the chat said, your platform will be dead without the talk of Tasha K. He, this person is responding to my wicked. So they say, your platform will be dead without the without the talk of Tasha K. Let me fact check that. So when people say stuff like that, I don't get mad when people say that, when, when that person said that. When you go back to his top lives and when people say dead, that means your platform will be dead. That's what That's what they're saying. That that that's what that person is trying to say, and I always go back and um, I always go back and I fact check what a person is saying. So give me a second. Uh, go on the video. Like when a person say stuff like that, you just go on and you check it and you verify on yourself. You go on the platform. You go on their YouTube channel. You go to their videos. And you just scroll down. Eight, uh, Eighty thousand views. Uh, 50,000 views, 53,000 views, 29,000 views, 65,000 views, 19,000 views, 20,000 views, 25,000, 40,000, 60,000. So correctly, that person that said your platform will be there is far from the truth, but they put stuff out there and you, and they just be trolling. You can easily verify this information. That's just, just not true. And none of the topics, none of the topics are talking about Tasha K. None of it, probably about one of the videos that I've, that I just gave you a, a, a amount of views is talking about Tasha K. Maybe one. So his platform is thriving without Tasha K. I'm just, letting, I'm just really, really um, letting you know that I just had to, I just had to, uh uh fact check you on that all right all right he's doing and that that just facts so you fact check but if you beefing i could be like well let me come on out and let me say that too and all that you know when you beefing you won't necessarily give you the truth you will you will leave that out but when you're not beefing and you just sit here and you can just very very fact check it you see it the proof is in the pudding okay the proof is in the pudding uh that's what I'm saying. Only I, I just said it. He only talked about her one time. Just to X that out, all of the views on here is just way, way important. All right. I'm just I'm just letting you know that. I'm just letting you know that. Okay. I'm just I'm just I'm just letting you know that. I'm just letting you know that. They said cut the BS or my because it's jealous of Tasha. Stevie Wonder can say that. I don't think he's jealous. 
I don't think I know he's not jealous because number one, he's on YouTube. He get paid the same day she get paid. He have high quality content, like she have high quality content. He have interview celebrities. He have he have the connection with Cardi B. I don't think he's jealous because if he did not have all these accolades and he would just talk about Tasha K all day, every day. Then I can see your point. But in reality, he had his own identity outside of Tasha K. The man actually did a performance with MC Hammer. The man went to a performance art school. The man started on, did Facebook videos and interview people and stuff like that. He isn't jealous at all. I felt that it was a wrong guy. Now, whether Tasha wants to admit it or not admit it, According to Armand, he feels that something went wrong with that interview. That I told my mentor, and my mentor stole my interview. That's the root of the problem right there. See, I'm going to give you the root. Stole my interview. And I told her this in confidence that I want to interview Dr. CB family, and she stole it from me. That's the root of their problem of an interview that was stolen. That's one of the root. That's the root of that. And if that ever get resolved, I think they they could be cordial. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. All right. Uh, I don't think that he's jealous of Storm. I don't think that he's jealous of Storm. Let me tell you why. Can I break that down? You bringing this point up? Somebody said he's jealous of Storm. And I, 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 he's not jealous of Storm. Number one, Armand get invited to celebrity parties. Number two, he gets a lot of views on his platform. Number three, his quality is 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 a subpar up there. His quality is the best, one of the best in this sector of YouTube. When you're talking about the lovely T Tasha, uh, Meek at Night, all these people, he's not on Streamyard. It's a whole production uh, on his show, and it's just definitely great. I think people put that all oh, he's jealous because Storm will have more subscribers, and which Storm have more subscribers, but that does not mean. Uh, uh, jealousy. When you look at influence, look at the coverage that Armand would get. He get Jasmine Bray. He get all these coverage on his platform. When you talk about uh, Cardi B, anytime he cover uh, female rappers, people will come at him and they will they will Twitter, Twitter, Twitter down there. They're not Twitter, Twittering Storm Monroe. They're 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 putting Armand Wiggins on Twitter. And this ain't nothing. I'm kissing his butt. This ain't nothing. That I'm doing any of that. I'm just looking at it. I'm looking at one part, and, I, and you could go on Twitter, you can see this. When I Twitter or my wicked name on there, I see 50,000. Well, okay, it's I see a lot of people talking about it. When you type in Storm Row, you don't see Storm Row name on Twitter or people adding Storm Row. Go do it yourself. I, don't just believe my word. Go do your homework. Do your homework right now. Go to Twitter. Type in Amaya Wiggy's name in Twitter. Tell me what pop up and call in and let me know what pops up. Type in, uh, when you type in Storm Monroe, uh, uh, name and see what pops up. And they both are great. They both are talented. They both have something in there. But when you say, oh, he's jealous, I don't think, why would he be jealous when you got all this, this recognition and your name is screaming on all these platforms outside of YouTube? Why would you be jealous? I don't think jealous is the right word. I don't think it's the right word. They both are doing amazing things. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't think Storm is jealous of Armand. They both are awesome and doing amazing things on YouTube. They're both are great, and we as black people have to get out of this whole thing of, of uh, this whole thing of this You could, you could, it, you we could be successful on YouTube. Everybody could be successful if you put the time, you put the energy out. Just like um, Kevin Samuels. People talk about him. Oh, he's so... Oh, excuse me. See, let me drink a little bit more of this. And I'm burning. Mm. Just like Kevin Samuels. People talk about how successful Kevin Samuels is and how he even surpassed Sasha K. But they, they, they forget to look at the beginning stages of Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels is not the same Kevin Samuels he was when he was on YouTube years ago. He's different now. But what if Kevin Samuels would have gave up when his platform didn't get off the ground four, five, six, seven years ago? What if he would have gave up and say, I'm done with this. I'm done with YouTube. I'm done doing this. I'm done with it. He would have never be able to receive the blessings of it what he's receiving now. I'm just saying. 
So when people put this stuff out there, I'm like, it's not true. Like, you know, nothing against Storm. I don't know Storm's journey of being a media personality outside of him being on YouTube. But I can tell you of the uh, of the of the media influence and personality that Armand has before he came to YouTube. Why? Because I was there. I was on Facebook. I, I was on the phone calls. I was there. I was on the Uvu. I was there. So, of course, I can testify of his successes on Facebook. I can even break this down. Armand was so popping on Facebook that they used to put commercials in his live. In his live on, on, on Facebook, they used to put commercials in his live on Facebook. He was one of the first people on Facebook that when he go live, he can go to a commercial break. And Facebook will pay him advertising dollars this before anybody anybody even had something. Like, this was way, 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 way back on Facebook with commercials. And he was one of the first ones that were picked to get commercials in his Facebook Live. And another person said in the chat, I'm reading here, I'm responding to this. I got time today. I got time today. Somebody said this, Armand will never beat Storm. That's another lie. Let me break that down. You cannot put never because they get, when you look at Storm numbers and Armand Wiggins numbers, they get similar numbers. Now, in this quarter, if you look at it of this month, they're getting some views around the same amount of views. So they both are winning. They both are winning. So when people put statements out like that, you know, it's, I, I would call it uh, 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 just false because they both are successful. Why couldn't that be like, oh, they both winning? Why can we not just put that out there? Because I'm looking at the numbers. I'm, I'm on my computer right now. I'm looking at both of the numbers. They're getting the same amount of views this month. The same amount of views this month. Both. So that never is just have already happened already. They are already competing with each other if you just look at the numbers. If you just look at the numbers. And they're both successful. They both are successful. I'm just like, yo, what the problem? Like when people put stuff like that and love it, and we just having this conversation. I know y'all don't like that type of conversation, but we just having this conversation because these are the questions that you put up, and these are the type of topics that I don't necessarily sometimes have time to respond to. But when I see it on my in this in this feed, I will respond to the comments. I will. And on my have a, his entertainment, and I'm biased. And let me tell you why I'm biased. It's because I knew I'm out before YouTube. I'm biased. So maybe y'all can call in. Y'all can say who is more entertaining, Storm or 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 Armand? Because that's a good question. Because everybody have their own way of thinking. I think Armand is very entertaining because I can watch his content just like that. He's a very entertaining guy. He's been that way even before he had the lights, the cameras. He just he just had that it factor. Some people just got that personality factor. He have it. Whether you want to believe it or whether you want to believe it or not believe it, but it is most people that's over here watch his content. Who in here never seen on my biggest video? Let's just be honest here. Who in this who in this live never? And I'm, I'm, I'm in my clothes. In my clothes. I got another video to do. Who in this live never ever seen on my biggest video? And if you're saying that, you will know now. You're gonna go and look. Who in here never watch? Who in here never watch? Who in here never watched this video? Who in here never seen that his content? Never seen that? Oh, let's see. That's it. Somebody said, I have it. Well, you're going to watch it today. You're going to see it today. Okay. They said both are good, but storm effects seems forced when a my camera. When Amar comes on strong, he he had that type of personality. You know what I'm saying? They're two different guys. Their approaches are two different ways. How I look at it, and I'm just on the sidelines. Okay, Amar is just natural. It comes naturally. Storm is a is a is a is a student of the game. He comes at as an educator. That's how Storm comes in. He's an educator, and he comes in preparing like a paper. 
and he go in, he study, and he get the exam. That's how he comes into it. All right, give me a second. Let me see. hold on. Let me see if it's gonna work. Hold up. All right. Uh, let's go to the phone lines. He live on the air. Charles, you know I'm calling in, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so did you hear? So did you hear uh, what was said before we talked about it? Yes, and I'm just like gagging because when we had talked about like, girl, I just can't believe that. It's just so crazy. The lies. <laughs> it's the lies for me. So tell us what happened because this Amara is on the line that when she went, she lied that she said that you call and that you apologize for what you said about Storm Monroe. Is that true? I need to go to your Instagram. And oh. I need to see, play this. Can I, or you don't want me to play it on your thing? Probably not because okay, you, I'm not going to play it because she might, she might strike you. Yeah. Um, so I just can't. Okay. So what ended up happening was so basically, so paraphrase what she said. Like so can't. she said it was a, it was a guy he came at you so hard and he thrives on negativity. And then he called me. And said, "Well, I want to apologize to Storm." And you hung up the phone. And Storm and Tasha K. No, he said, and, and, and Tasha was like, "I'm not nobody's gatekeeper. It is what it is." Uh, and that I want to ask you. She said that you are inferior to her. <laughs> you have to really stop that. <laughs> that's that's what um, she said. That's what she, that's what she said in the line. So I'm just trying to see. Did you, did you call her and say? Hey, you know, when you called me, I was gagging because I hadn't seen this because, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I've seen the clip of the interview, but I'm not, I don't pay for her stuff, but I've seen the clip and I expected something because when I seen that she was like, yeah, the haters, I'm like, oh, girl, they're trying to push this nerves. They want me to be like mad or jealous about this boy so bad. I'm just like. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to watch that. But then when you called me and you basically let me listen to what was said, I'm like, that's not even true. And I think that's the problem that I have with this woman. And I like I heard you saying, like, you know, it was about the Dr. Sapien. Yeah, it was kind of about that, more or less. But, you know, it's, it's more so now about, like I said, I don't, I don't hate her. You know what I mean? I don't, there's nothing with that. It's just, I don't feel respected because she's a liar, bro. You know, like, I, I don't, the whole fallout with her and I, there was a part that, you know, she felt some type of way because um, I created the B original bitch. You know what I mean? And I, and I could be real. I felt like, girl, as a mentor, you telling me, you know, I'm calling you, I'm seeing with you on the phone and we talking and you, you telling me about you know, lovely tea and this and that and how you feel like all these content creators are jealous of you and Essie Berry and Mona Swan. I'm just like, okay, girl, like, you know, well, yeah, you're doing your thing. You're on top. Like, you're, you know, you're going to make it and that is that. Like, it's no tea. And so if I'm pouring into you like that. And I'm your mentee, whatever, whether it's a day, an hour, 29 days, whatever. Um, I, at some point, I'm like, you know, as a person during that time, I'm like, at least I'm thinking you're going to at least give it back. You know what I'm saying? But she would never give that energy back. Instead, she was like, oh, my husband doesn't want me to repost you no more. My husband. And I'm like, okay, you know, cool, whatever. And then I see her like with the gunshots and doing the twerking and shit. And, and I'm like, okay, bitch, like taking my shit. Like, you know, so the immature me a little bit. No shade. I'm going to be real. I was a little immature, you know, very emotional coming up because I was already feeling some type of way that I was during the time I was feeling some type of way about Madison. You know, it was just a lot going on. So I could be a real bitch. I created the original. She got hold of that. So she felt some type of way because, um, you know, I pretty much kind of threw a little shade at her. And I did. You know, I did. And so I could take my wrong in that. I did throw shade at her because I felt like she was mocking me instead of, and copying me instead of helping me. You know, I felt like she was pulling from me instead of like really supporting me. So I did throw shade at her. I did do that. And so she kind of felt some type of way and didn't want to work with me. That was fine. But but outside of that, I was already feeling some type of way because I'm like, girl, I'm giving you 
you know, letting you know about interviews and shit like that, and you telling people not to, you know, sign up and work with me for, you know, you know, you're doing like weird shit behind the scenes with different interviews. So that's the whole thing with that. My issue with her is that this woman don't want nobody mentioning me with her because she thinks she's so much bigger than me and she thinks she's so much better, which is not true. You know what I mean? The, the thing is, people don't, I know people on your channel don't like me when I talk highly of myself, but the bottom line is this, she knows I'm that nigga. That's why she went and found someone to literally try to, they literally was paying for a nigga to try to compete with me. You know what I'm saying? And this is why, even to this day, this woman goes on platform from platform and indirectly speaks about me and then acts like I'm somewhere trailing her, but yet you're interviewing your mentee and at some point you're making it about me, which I'm so confused about. If it, And I'm going to get to that in a minute, but if, you're, if that nigga is so fly, is so talented, so dope, why am I a part of his story? Like, girl, like, just let it be about him. You don't have to keep adding me to it. It's, it, it, it's unfortunate because it's like the nigga can't even be successful without you trying to throw shade at me. You know, it's like, girl. So I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Finger. Do you think that uh -huh. she picked up Storm and Road to get back at you? That That's the only reason why she mentors Storm is to get back at you? That's what you believe? 100%. Well, because there was an error, there was a time. Well, because remember, she was like, I'm not going to go back and forth with a man. I want a man. And remember, he was, you know, he was, you know, the straight man that was going to check me and, you know, all of this stuff. So that she wanted someone that she's been trying to create this divide between us because for whatever reason, she tries to make it seem like, you know, she doesn't want, she does not want it to be Google or she does not want the conversation to be. You know, are you team my mom Wiggins or team Tasha K? And that's kind of what the conversation is when you when people watch on YouTube, they they you know, and I'm sure there's everybody else too, you know. But I'm just saying, like, people be like, you know, I like you or I like Tasha K, and she can't understand for the life of her is how is this boy, you know, this gay man with only a hundred thousand followers being compared or mentioned with me. Cause I'm break, I'm doing all. I have all this quality and all this production, and I'm breaking these stories, and I'm flying bitches out, and I'm and I'm always got a million subscribers. Don't compare him to me, but baby, I'm you know I got that. I'm an influential influential bitch. I'm an entertaining motherfucker. Like it's always gonna get that. You know, viral fight videos, fight videos go viral, and we don't know who they are. So numbers ain't everything. Think about how many videos that went viral on World Star. You can't make out a single person on there. You feel me? So, but she tries to create this divide. So she wanted homeboy to come in and create the divide between us. Now, I'm going to say this on your platform. I do not have a problem with Storm. Actually, he's he's good in my book. Um, now, when it comes to their conversation, I want to be very clear. I don't know why she keeps trying to perpetuate this narrative that I'm like stalking her or in love with her. She has a botched list fucking assistant. Chelsea always chime in. It's like, girl, how she chimed in when this girl was in my DM trying to work for me? She's just trying to be in. So it's like, girl, get up out of here because you email me trying to be on my team. Oh, wow. So you say that Chelsea emailed you to work for to work with you? Yeah, she tried to, yeah, she tried to work with me. Yes, Chelsea wanted to work for me before she went to Tasha K. That's the whole team. Dare her to lie. I got the email. Girl, yes. She, she should, and, and guess why I didn't hire her? Guess why I didn't want to work with her? Why? I mean, first of all, let's be very clear. Why would I want to work with a person that goes and writes a book on their former employee? That's messy as fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, I didn't know so that Chelsea did reached out. Freaking to... out. Oh. Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want no bitch around me like that. No shade. Wow. I... So, yeah, that was that. What if Tasha K were to call you and what if she admit, let's just say a point of conversation and say, you know what, I did steal this interview, from, Dr. Stavey interview from you. Well, how would you respond if, if she would come out? Do you think that she would ever come out and admit that, that I stole that interview from you? Well, no, I don't think she'll ever come. I mean, it's, I don't even think, I think that, honestly, I don't think, I think her ego would never allow her to admit that, um, that, that, and I think that with us, it's gone too far. I think that she's able to fake men fences with like lovely tea in the daytime 
and people like that because she doesn't view them as threats or competition. Um, she she could never want to see me in this like she doesn't want she wants to almost erase me because she understands once I break through the glass ceiling, bitch, I'm gonna be a motherfucking problem. So I think more than more than that, like her competitive nature won't even allow us to be on good terms because she's like, I, she's our, like you even said, I think in one of your videos that she talked about how, you know, Storm is a man, so he'll go farther than her. So if she feels that way about him, which was her second mentee, well, what does she feel about me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't feel that way about one and not feel that way about the other. So, but the thing is, girl, you already, it's already given like, I don't want to give you no look because I already see it's day one you want to you i didn't even tell things that i paid for for other niggas cameras rent apartment whatever nigga i she ain't she ain't paid my rent she ain't paid my and it's no shit and i'm gonna get to it she ain't paid my rent she ain't paid for my apartment she ain't paid she didn't even tell me what camera to use guess what i should still look better than half the niggas i'm still even though i don't i'm not maybe even niggas have more followers than me but I, and I ain't that much farther than behind. And I didn't did this with no help. You feel me? So could you imagine if I had a bitch paying mom a shit? And, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would that look like? But I say that to say this. I want to get back to the to the full, to the, to the, to the, to the real conversation. The Jaguar, what I call Tasha K. This is why we're here. Because I think this needs to be very clear. Because she's such a liar. I called her because during this time, there was a Jaguar Wright, James Wright, Chanel. It was some boy, I guess, speaking out. And they were trying to say that somehow me and Tasha K were trying to say that James Wright um, was some sort of pedophile or something. And they were trying to, and then they were trying to say that I was aiding a pedophile or a molest or some kind of, you know, abuser or something. And I was like, okay, you know, I don't mind the dragging and the weird shit, but I'm not. I'm not about to sit here and, and I don't play a, I don't play with no sexual allegations. So I called Tasha K like, I don't fuck with you. Bitch. I don't know. I can't remember if I called her a text her, but I'm like, girl, what is this? Me and you didn't plan shit. I don't fuck with you. So you need to nip this in the butt. I don't know what's going on with you and Jaguar, right? But I'm not, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not involved with this James Wright Chanel shit. So don't play with me. That's why I called her. Then I brought the Storm Moreau thing came up because I had seen something. I cannot remember exactly what it is. I seen something where somebody was like, why didn't you respond to Armand or something about Armand or what, or do you regret anything? He, he, and he basically said, he said, listen, I don't want no smoke with, oh boy. Um, one thing I did do, I regret going at his family, at his dad or, like, I did something that wasn't right. I regret doing that. I don't want no smoke with him, and I wish I would have never done that. I heard that, and I'm like, nigga, I'm done. Because I never had a problem with the boy. Like, what I look like beefing with a nigga that don't want to beef? Like, we don't. We never had no issue. I don't know him. I never had a problem. I literally, I could fuck with him and, and, and be cool, and we can move. I, I mean, shit, I draft daytime. I dragged TS, but guess what would happen? We got on the phone. We both admitted, like, yo, we did some shit. I did, I did some shit. You said some shit, and let's let's move it. Me and you, wise, we've had, Lord knows, we had years of fucking <laughs> death. But you can admit when you're wrong. I've admit when I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? As adults, as men, you can be like, all right, that was a time. I feel like that was a time for him in that era. Where you know he was doing what he had to do to grow his channel, you know what I'm saying? And he, you know, he he felt like he needed to, uh, you know, have take her battles. That's no problem. I get it now, you know. And he understood what that gave and what that came with. And so we exchanged. I dragged him, whatever. And so he basically indirectly apologized. So what I said to her, I said, "Oh, and by the way, let Storm Monroe know that." I don't have a problem with him. My problem is actually with you, but him and I were good because I could tell he said he didn't want no smoke. So why am I going to go here and be beefing with this man? If he don't want, like, you know, I'm not going to just, I'm not, I'm not no hater. I'm not jealous of the nigga. Like, I don't, I don't want no problem. I don't need unnecessary beef. 
So if, if he it could say, you know what, man, I didn't mean to come at your dad like that. I'm not going to hold that over that nigga head. At least he was admitted to shit. At least he was a man enough to be like, I was wrong for that. And then he did it. Like I said, I respect Stoma. What I thought was late was the fact that Tasha K tried to make it seem like I called her like I was in bed thinking about Storm Monroe. And, you know, like, and I just gained so much respect for him because he didn't stoop down to my level and beef with me. That's not what happened. But, but I'm not even finna channel her energy and have her have me in this phase where I'm like low-key and social storm because that's, she likes turmoil because even when he said, well, let me, when, when he tried to take responsibility for what he said, she shut him down and told him no. And you know what that told me? That told me there's an insecurity there with her. Now, Storm knows, you know what I mean, from a distance. We, we, we won't ever probably, have, we don't have to have a relationship. But he's smart enough to understand what's what in the communication beyond her. She's in the middle. She does not want, she, she acts like she wants like camaraderie and this, that, and third. But her, she would never want us to be on the same page and cordial. She would actually prefer there to be discourse between him and I. I don't have a problem with him. I'm not jealous of him. I actually fuck with him because he was man enough to tell me to basically say, bro, it's good. And I'm I'm not some bro, it's good. Like, if I see that nigga, like, there was a point in time, I'm like, bitch, I want to fight him. But now, if I, if I see him, I would go have coffee with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? And talk to him. And not about her. You feel me? Like, I don't have a problem with him. Because he already understood what's what. And we've already kind of felt like we've had, I feel like he understood where I'm coming from. But I feel like with her, it's so nasty and it's so sad and she's so insecure that she would still want to be between us. That's late. Because, girl, you're, you're the problem, not us. You have the insecurity. We're good. You still want there to be, you still want there to be animosity. You still want there to be this 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 beef, and it's like it's not there. Do you feel like this situation with the whole Cardi and Nicki that they being compared that you and Tasha or that you and Storm would be compared like Cardi and Nicki Minaj? Do you feel like the public will do that? Because they always bring it up. You're not on Storm or Roll Up. You're mad because Storm Roll got more followers. Do you think that you will always be compared to Storm by the public? Um, no. I think, I, I, no, I don't think so. Um, respectfully, no. Um, I think people would try to do that. I think, unfortunately for him, people try to use that as a weapon to hurt me when they feel like they have nothing else. You know what I mean? Because he has more numbers. But, I mean, I think that that only comes from people that are like subscribers that, you know, have been kicked out of the castle or somebody I said no to. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think, like on, a, on an average, I've never seen in my comments somebody, you know, oh, some storm shit. Da, da, da. Like, I don't see that. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see storm just on my, on a day, I don't see him, I, I don't see him on nowhere. You know, it's not like no shit like that. I just don't, I don't see him, you know? It, it, so, it, I don't think that I'm just going to be getting compared to him because, well, you gotta understand, like, I don't know. Like I, I do music, I dance. I got two songs out. I, I do my thing. Like I don't. Even if you try to compare me to him, I think we have different strengths, you know, and different weaknesses. And so I think that we're just we're not the same. We can't be compared. Now, if it's a conversation of a oh, we're bringing in Tasha K. Of course, I'm always going to get to compare to him. Of course, that's the thing that they're going to say. Oh well, you know. Well, he, he got this, he got this, and he's doing more than you. But, you know, just like they all said, well, now they're talking about it. I was talking about it then. Well, yeah, he got all that, but she was paying his bills. She was buying shit. Like, so he, he really should be at that level. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, but, but he did offer like, one thing that I can't say in the interview when she paid his rent. He offered to pay it back, and she told him no by the camera. Uh, and you really believe she did all that just to get back at you? That's something when somebody just pays somebody bills and gives them equipment just to get back at you. You really believe that? I just want to make that clear. Yeah, I mean, 
I do. I do think, I, I think it was to get back. Um, and I think that that was to, to stroke her ego. But I definitely do because you got to remember there was an era where she was trying to make seven stars happen. It's just seven stars wasn't consistent and she wasn't getting it. And remember, I was talking a lot of shit. Remember, she was like, seven stars is going to be at 20,000 in a month. Like, remember, she was just saying, <laughs> like, I remember that. Wait a minute. Remember what she was saying? Oh, well, I, I remember she was that. Buying seven stars. <laughs> Yeah, she was doing all that. I re, I re, yeah, I, I, she was like, yeah, they're going to be at 20000 in a I month. I remember month. that. And she went and made that post. The, <laughs> the, the first time Storm passed me, she went and made that post. Yeah, Storm, God has made Storm's enemies his foot tools. That's why I'm so glad you listened to me. I'm like, why is all of this about me? <laughs> and then, uh, uh, just here it is. She posted his income show like, Nobody's making money like Storm. Look yeah, at yeah, yeah, she, she posted, posted his income to show that, um, yeah, she did that. Yeah. I, did that. I, and, I, and try to bait me into posting my income. It's like, girl, I'm not posting my income. And, and she was like, yeah, because so yeah, you know, I remember that. She's like, yeah, he's making, they're making more money than him. And it's, I'm like, girl, like, you keep trying to, uh, girl, I don't, what are we, what are we, that's like, okay, that's like, and I'm not saying we're millionaires, but I'm just saying, like, in, in this game, oh, let's just say, let's just say, let's just say Storm made $10 million in one month, right? And I made $7 million. What are we arguing about? That's true. Bitch. Like, you feel me? Like, what, what are you, like... Y'all both have Mercedes Benz. Y'all yeah. both have personal assistants. Y'all both have stuff from that. Yeah, I, I think I think it's people... I think your personality or mine... I think people will show you more love or or be, if you talk down to yourself. You was raised in a two-parent household. People does not like. This one thing they don't like about you. You always talking about... I was not raised in a two-parent household. Oh, you wasn't raised in a two-parent household? But you had your father, is what I'm going to try to say. You talk about your relationship with your yeah, father. Yeah, I had my dad. I had my dad and I had my... Uh, I, well, my mom... I, I, okay, so I lived with my dad okay. and my stepmom. And then I, sometimes I would live with my mom and my stepdad. And so you have that self-confidence. You know, some people don't like when you say, you that man, I don't need your money. Get out of my chat. People don't like that. But you have always been that way, that go. This ain't something that's on YouTube. You've been that way on Facebook, but I think some people are turned off by that, that by that personality of yours. I think so too, right? And I, but my dad always told me. He said you need to be a little arrogant. And he said, I said, Dad, because there was a time I was on here, I was like, damn, you know, everybody keeps calling me arrogant, and and I was even talking to, I was even talking to Madison one time. I was like, fuck, everybody. She was talking, called me a narcissist and this, that shit. And she was like, you, you need a little bit of narc in you, you know? And you need, and my dad said, good, embrace your arrogance. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, because it, 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 it's like, I'm not going to sit here and get into a space where I know that I've had sleepless nights. While you know that, bitch, it took me forever to get over here. And it took me, and I was quitting. You was quick. And we have to encourage each other right, to right, stick to right, it. Right, right. You remember we would sit up late at night and I would say, Oh bitch, I just went and bought a new TV and we about to do this Uber. Yeah. Then we would go get logos made for the bullshit bell show. Yeah. And we would do this and we would do that. And we would we would sit up and brainstorm. <laughs> so we would brainstorm ideas for hours and hours and hours. And then bitch, we would we would try to we would we try to work with Auntie Gummy and then Cookie Tookie and we did this and then me and you beat and then we got food and we beat again, you know. And so, <laughs> and so when a, when I get over to YouTube, and somebody tries to take credit and try to say that they know me since 2017, or try to downplay my body, when it's like, girl, I was good enough for you to take from. I was good enough for for me to for you to be inspired by me. I was so good to where your husband was telling you, don't share that nigga shit no more. That's when I knew I was a problem. I knew I was a problem because bitch, you paying niggas rent. But, bitch, I couldn't even pay you to promote my shit. Be very clear. You paying niggas bills, but I couldn't even pay you to promote my shit. Let that sink in. And I want to ask you a question. Because Let that sink in. I, I, I hear that, and that's a good point that you're making. Another thing people say about you, and I play it into this narrative, that you hate black women. Do you hate black women? Um, huh? 
That's a narrative that people say that you right. hate black women. So I want to ask you because they, you get this. Oh, he hate black women. He hate black. Do you hate black women? Okay, okay. I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna answer that question, but I just want to get back real quick. Okay. To the, to the thing though, um, as far as as far as you know, you know the arrogance part because I think people need to understand. I work my ass off for this. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really get a lot of handouts, and when I was growing up a little bit. You know, in this, you know, I was very emotional. The child would go off and I would feel away because I would feel slighted and little things like that. So, you know, and, you know, when you're trying to build and, and, you know, and then you finally, the shit happened for you, you know what I mean? And you start actually doing it and, and, and you got forces working against you, you know, and constantly trying to make you feel like you not nobody or trying to tell you that, you know, we may, I made you or just whatever it is. And then you got your own inner demons that you're battling and then you 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 overcome them and, and you're doing well and you're prospering. I'm not gonna let nobody sit here and take that from me. And I'm not gonna downplay myself for anybody because guess what? I'm a gay black male. We do not have enough representation. There's representation for everybody else out there, but for us, we 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 have to go ahead and push ourselves to the side to look out for everybody else. And I'm at the point where I'm the example for the little gay black boy that that's mama told him that he can't look at no gay shit on TV. I'm the example for him where he sneak and put his Apple uh, earbuds in his ear and he watched the Armand Wiggins show become an inspired. That's who I do this for. So I'm not going to look like a broken spirit because as a gay black man, you, they always teach you not to love yourself, not to be proud of yourself, but always fix yourself. Fix this about you. Go this way. You're not straight. You're not straight in there. There's something wrong with you. So I'm never going to let, I'm never going to feed into that narrative or downplay myself. You know, I'm a confident, gay, black, successful, entertaining motherfucker. And any bitch that don't like you can get the fuck. And I can, and I can run circles around any bitch in this sector on stage, period. I, literally, anybody. Anybody I put up, let's go one on live on stage, bitch. I'm biting everybody, period. That's just how I roll. You know what I mean? And, it, and people don't like that, but I'm not doing it for the people that don't like it. It is what it is. Um, now, as far as black women, um, girl, I don't know. I'm a mama black. I got five black sisters. That's crazy. Uh, but what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be one of those con uh, uh, content creators that. Uh, everything is about black women. That's not happening. I'm not a black woman. So every I, everything black women do is not, I don't, it's not God. It's, I'm not agreeing with everything. Like I don't, I don't, I'm not doing that for no super chat or for a subscription. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and do a flame or rope and shit on gay people to appease black women. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Cause I, 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 I don't, I don't think that you, I don't think that you hate black I don't think that you hate black women. I, I think that when you say bitch, I think people take that as a term or disrespectful. But in the gay culture, you hear the word bitch or bitch, bitch you know, that that, have, that word have been just flirted around. Even in hip hop, um, you have a lot of rappers that say the B word uh, and they get the love. So I don't think you hate black women. I know I played well, it today. I think, I, think the black woman issue, I think the black woman issue came from because of the whole OG thing. Okay. And like I said, People feel some type of way about that, and then they felt some type of way because I said, you know, do black women have an issue with the Kardashians? And I don't think that people, women want to recognize, want to admit that, you know, a lot of them have an issue with the Kardashians, and OG is not attractive to me. And it has nothing to do with her being dark skin or whatever, whatever, whatever. She's just not attractive to me. And that doesn't mean that I don't like black women. I, my mama and my sisters are black. I have black girlfriends. Um, but yeah, but I, at the same time, I'm not, my, 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 100% of my content is not going to be geared towards fuck transgender. They're men. Fuck these gay men. It's all about black women issues. Gay people don't have any issues. You know, black women are the most oppressed. Let's sit here and talk about how black women are oppressed 24 7. I'm not doing, like, who wants to talk about that all day? I'm not doing that. <laughs> so if that means I don't like black women, then you can have that. But that's crazy. I love black women. I love my mom. I love my sisters. I love my girlfriends. I love black women are some of the biggest supporters of mine. I fuck with them. But I, what what am I supposed to do? Sit up here and, and, and pander? Oh, fuck. 
I'm not going to sit up here and pander like some of these other people that they champion. You know, everybody wants to use the black women card when they need uh when they need when they need a when they need a quick follow or they need a quick buck. You know, everybody knows everybody knows when to say, you know, how dare they do that to a black woman when they know how to, you know. <laughs> I, I I I hear that, you know, of course I have to apologize because I play everybody it today. knows how to do that. I mean, Tasha did that, she did that, she so she did that with me and Jag- Jaguar. Remember, let's talk about it, Wiley. Let's talk about the Jaguar shit. Yes. You broke that story. Yes, I did. And she, she Jaguar came for me. Yes, she did. At her house. She was watching on TV. Because she Googled I herself. Said, I, because I took because I was defending see now this is the tea though. Because I was defending Summer Walker. And see, this is the issue that gets me with the whole black women thing, right? You see. I was defending Summer Walker. I didn't. I didn't disrespect Jaguar Wright. I was just a girl. Why would you go and do that, right? Jaguar Wright comes and starts calling me dick in the booty, all kind of nasty, salacious, you know, flagrant names. I gave her that smoke back. Here's the thing, though. Those women never really tripped off of the ones that didn't like me. Preferably the ones on your channel. They never cared about the Summer Walker of it all, right? But they cared about the Jaguar, right? It's like they have this affinity for the woman with the short, nappy hair that looks like she has this stressed out fucking life. So it's like <laughs> we keep the underdog. So we gotta, so like we gotta feel, we gotta, you know, be team her. It's like Summer Walker, you know, because she looks like she's a little bit more, I don't know, looks like she got a little bit more money. You don't, you don't support her. You want to support the stressed out looking Jaguar. But Jaguar is over here saying some ignorant ass shit about this woman. But because Jaguar aesthetically looks the way that she looks, it's easy for you to feel bad for her and this and the third. And so that's what a lot of these women do. And I don't like that shit. So then and it's like if a, if a woman looks like she's put together, she don't get the support. You, know what you, do? like, you really believe that? You got to look like fucking Jaguar right here, man. Everybody feel bad for you. You know, they do the same thing with Kaya and Trina. Try to sit here and look dusty, say all kind of nasty things. <laughs> but then when Bobby Lights come and say, but when, when Bobby Lights come and say something, then he went too far. You know what I'm saying? But Trina, you know, people don't say nothing about how she talks so nasty about Trina because Trina looks like she's the one on top. That's a bunch of BS. You feel me? And so when it comes to the Jaguar Ryan situation, Jaguar was saying all those nasty things. Tasha K doing her little do deal, seeing, oh, 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 let me jump in, let me get involved in this. She went and started posting, you see what he's doing to jab to a black woman? You see this, you see that? You see, why would he do this? His mom looks could be a black woman, you know? She got this infatuation of trying to figure out what my mama looked like, you know, which my mom is one of the most sickening women on the planet. I'll stand her next to anybody listening, you feel me? Um, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I think, I think so that she has this, she had that, like this thing against that. And then, then turn around and not only did she exploit the black woman, then she played on the mental illness and then introduced the autistic son. <laughs> it's like, what? But, but see, when it was, but it when it was into her benefit to help, you know, storm and, you know, to make it look like, oh my God, Armand, you're losing, and this is why you need to be on the black woman's side. Then that they all they all ran over there. You know, and then that's and then that's what Jaguar even said. Bitch, I didn't even get the interview. When oh, every time my mom would drag me, I would go to Storm. Listen, Auntie Hammy, she did an interview with King Payne. Let's talk about it. She did an interview with King Payne, and you know what she said? What did she say? She said that her and Tasha K planned the fight because they knew that me, Sean, and all these blog, the gay blogger, King Payne, was going to talk about it. So she tried to act like she don't want people talking. But girl, you be doing stuff so we could, so you could try to trigger. I didn't fall for it. I wasn't getting into no thing with Auntie Han. I wasn't doing none of that. But because I don't really care. But girl, you want us to be out here talking and you want to push these narratives like these black gay men don't like black men. Like you're just hella divisive. And Auntie Hammy told King Payne that. Like, why would you plan that for the gay men 
to go and battle and argue with empty hands like what? <laughs> and laugh. Like that's the problem. That's the problem. Like why? Why would oh. you do that? <laughs> like why? Why would you do that? You're so big. You're so rich. You're so you're so booked. You're so busy. Why are you doing amateur shit like that? <laughs> um, and you didn't of course you did not fall fall for that uh, at all um, some people in here does they feel like they said well or my he feels some type of way when it comes to women but at the end of the day I can't hear you. Uh, can you hear me I'm sorry can you say hear me time? I can't hear you I'm sorry I can barely hear you say it no 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 a lot of people look at you and they say I, I, he just he just come at women so hard but you're not a woman you're a man at the end of the day so you have your own opinion about women. But I feel like they want you to pander to them. You say you're not going to pander towards women. You you have your gay man. No, no, it's not even that. Like, I, let me tell you something. When I talk up, when I talk positive, it, it, it's just like, okay, it's just like, what did, what did the girl Tasha say? Um, when, I, when I said to let Storm know, we good, it's no smoke, she almost insinuated that I was in bed thinking about him and I was trying to get to him through her. Like I just had this infatuation of trying to get to Storm and let him know that, you know, I'm okay and, you know, and, and I want to be his friend almost. But then she also said that he didn't stoop to my level because all I, all I thrive off is, what was it? Uh, you know, negativity. Drama, basically. Yeah, ne yeah. Negativity. So it's, I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. There's just, I'm just at a point right now where I fuck with the black women that, that know my body, that fuck with me. I'm not really like, and, and you know, I, I know your chat, these are the ones that don't like me for the most part. So I don't think about them. I don't think about the women that have made up their mind that they don't like me since 2018. I don't have time for that. Like, girl, if you, if you decided that you don't like me because of, of one comment that I made about OG and you just decided that you don't like me, girl, I, I, I can't, I can't stay there. I cannot stay in that space. I have to grow. I have to move forward. Uh, and, and, and girl, if you decided you don't like me because of that, I'm sorry, um, but I have to move forward. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stay in that. And you're not gonna hold me there. I'm a person, and, I, and I'm allowed to grow. And I'm also allowed to make mistakes. You know what I mean? So there's just some people that are going to just not like me because at the end of the day, let's be very clear. I have to be the villain in somebody's story. Yeah, we all do. Because you do, you do have black women you know, that most of your supporters are black women. You do have black women that support you, that understand your vibe, that rock with you. Most of your callers are black women. Yeah, my thing is, my thing is this. You know why I can't? You know, you know why I can't really get into that? Because I can also get into the fact that what about the white women that's in my chat and the Chinese and bitch? I be going in on everybody. Guess what? They call me, they text me. It's no problem. You know what I'm saying? It's like I I don't only have white uh, black people that follow me. One of my best moderators is white, and she literally endures all the white people slander <laughs> and keeps it pushing. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's that's a good thing that you have that support. I know people in here say he don't apologize when you do wrong. Do, is that a thing with you? You don't apologize when you do wrong? Do I apologize? My, yeah, I do apologize, but I'm not going to keep continue apologizing to appease people that's just not going to like me. We on the internet. So at some point, you're just going to have to realize that Armand is the villain for them. And like, you, you know, you know how some people, some people, well, like, some people will stop supporting you because we cool. Like, I'm a good villain to some people. Like, you know, like, I don't like Kenya Moore on The Housewives, but she's a good villain for me to not like. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you almost need her. Like, she's a villain. And so, but she's necessary. I'm a villain to some people. So some women love to get up here and I hate Armand. He's ugly. He has horse teeth here. Listen, that, they get their rocks off with that. I'm glad you're able, I'm glad you're entertained, baby. Oh, yeah. it is, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep telling you I'm sorry just for you to keep telling me fuck you. You're not gonna accept it. So fuck it. You don't you don't want it, you don't want me to be sorry. So fuck you. It's just it's just like my thing is this. Just like they saying us gays can't cancel the baby and the transgenders 
can't cancel Dave Chappelle. Bitch, y'all not gonna cancel me. Period. I said I've apologized, just like Kevin Hart said. I've apologized to the gay community. I'm not gonna keep doing it. I won't host the Oscars. And all the women and men, they were like, yeah, he already said it once. You don't have to say it again. Guess what? I'm on my Kevin Hart. I apologize more than once. I'm not gonna keep doing that. You don't like me? Fuck you, bitch. Okay. All right. He said he said what he said. Uh, and I don't have any more questions for that. I know people are going to respond in the chat and say what they're going to say. Uh, but what's your goals for next year? Do you want to announce some new projects or plans? That you, I know you got a new song, um, which is hot. Your new song. Um, we're probably going to be doing some relocating. Yes. The set's going to get different. Okay. Maybe listen, we're, it, the work doesn't stop. Yeah. Okay. The Armada was in show with Ryan. And we're going to continue to be a problem. Bitch, you know what I'm saying? We're going to continue to manifest blessings and continue to be in spaces. And there's a lot of things that are coming in 2022. I'm really excited about. Um, and yeah, like I'm talking to different people. And here's one thing that I will say. And, you know, and I just would like to leave on this, you know, it is okay to right your wrongs with individuals. It is okay to say, hey, I was wrong here. And it's okay for the other person to say, I was wrong here. And it's okay to move forward, you know, but I wanted to be very clear. A lot of people won't be able to do that because of their own insecurity. So, like I said, I wanted to make it very clear. And from my own mouth, because I don't like when people try to, I do not have a problem with Storm Monroe. Bitch, me and Storm Monroe can come to L.A. Bitch, we can have lunch, girl. We can get into some things, baby. I'm not going to, because I, when I heard her, I'm like, she's afraid. She's afraid that, bitch, she could feel like she's on the out. I'm not going to take your friend from you, girl. You don't have to try to take this picture and try to have him not admit that, you know, he was wrong. But the problem is that's the insecurity of her that, wait a minute. People can be cool. Yeah, girl. And like he said, he read the text. My problem is with her. And it's not even really with her, like, to a degree where I'm over here hating her at night. But what I'm saying is I don't re I don't respect her um, because of the way that she lies. But I definitely don't have a problem with Storm. It's no beef. But I definitely wasn't in my bed jerking off to the thought of having a conversation with him. Okay. <laughs> so I just want that to be clear. And, um, you know, Wiley, yes, you know, I can come on here. And get into some things. I can't wait till next year. I think because you're already doing great where you at right now. Just imagine when you're gonna be when you move to a different location. I think that's gonna be amazing. I'm here, I'm here for it. And the subscribers gonna be entertained by it as well. So doors are gonna open oh, up. Yeah, that's, I mean, Carol, this is you know, listen, honestly, outside of all the bullshit, we're living the dream. Yeah. Huh? Absolutely. Oh, I'm saying I say yes. You're right. We're living the dream. We're living the dream. This is a dream job, bro. So with it, with it come haters, with it come supporters, and I'm just glad to be able to do this full time. And I'm glad for the people that rock with me. I'm glad for the people that don't like me because at the end of the day, I need them both. I feel you on that. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I'm yeah, glad you're able to ask these the questions. Compliment, the biggest and the biggest compliment is when a bitch with a million followers scared to be mentioned with you. Because mm, mm, mm. they don't want to know. They'd be so scared that somebody might say, who is that? And stay. And stay. That's the problem. They might say, who is that person? Go find that content and go see that personality and fuck around and subscribe. That's the team. But all right, y'all, you know, we've been kids, so, girl, I'm out of here. Okay. And, uh, girl, let the dragon come in, unless you have any more questions. No, no, that, that's 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 it. If, uh, I, I want, last question, if you were to do a panel with Tasha K, would you do that, a panel show with Tasha K? You, Tasha, Jason Lee, and King, I mean, uh, uh, Dr. Larry Reed, would you do something like that? Well, that would never happen. Okay. Um, Lee, first of all, <laughs> never going to do that. Um, but here's my thing. I can do, listen, I can do anything because I don't really have the problem. As long as, if, if she were ever to be woman enough to be like, okay, girl, I, I, I did this. My only issue with her is that when she tries to acknowledge it, she makes it like, I don't know, whatever I did to him, and 
I can't like she tried to make it seem like you didn't move in a shifty way, and she tried to make it seem like I'm just like this little boy that's fawning for her attention, which is kind of weird to me. Um, so because I don't feel like she's gonna get over that, and because I don't think that she really wants peace, um, and I just personally feel like Tasha K is a person that's real. a platform with other personalities because to be honest I think she would get washed um, I think that she does well on her own or where she feels like she's in control or where she feels like she's bigger than she could never sit on a platform on, on a panel with people like me she couldn't do it because she she would she be too, she would get washed you gotta like she she she's she's big and bold like she's big and bold for her for herself by herself but like she can't sit with other people that do this for real she just she can't she has to feel she has to feel bigger than or she has to feel even like what she did to Kevin Samuels she had to she was like literally finding ways to try to look like she was helping him or teaching him something. And there was moments where he was like, no, I got it. I understand. You know, but she always has to try to make it seem like she's giving you the game. But it's like, everybody don't need you to give them the game, baby. Mm. Okay. So, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so very much for, right, for calling in. All right. All right. Wow. All right. Thank you. It was amazing to have Armand Wiggins on the show for the Armand Wiggins show. Oh, man. What that interview? Was that interview okay? Uh, they said, "Why you did it by Wally?" <laughs> Y'all is so messy in this chat. Uh, let me ask a couple of calls. We have a caller that been in queue for a long time. Eight three five three. Eight three five three. Can you hear me? Oh, oh, Wally, 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 Wally. Yeah. Oh, God, dang. Oh, my, oh my God, this is my time. Phew, I was wondering when he was going to stop. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> about. Hi, Wiley. Hi. Welcome to the Wiley Hi. Show. Yeah, I called you. I thought um, I, 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 I was calling you. Know, then, so I just want to call in and come in on the whole situation in its entirety. Okay. Go ahead. Um, from Tasha from Tasha to Irma to Storm because, I mean, I'm... A big YouTube support, especially my uh, black content creators, you know what I'm saying? Hence to why I follow you and like you, you know? Uh huh. Now, um, some we, we, I mean, a person like me, I don't, I don't idolize anybody. I don't care who you are. I don't idolize one, one person. I mean, I, but the Lord, okay. But um, I mean, I'm a huge supporter, you know what I'm saying? Especially in my community, I love, you know what I'm saying? My people. But one thing about Sasha is, you know what I'm saying? People don't like that. Uh, Tasha K is, I mean, she 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 can be extra. Well, if you have noticed about Tasha K is, when, when people started noticing that those receipts that she was supposed to be posting and those videos like that she was supposed to have, you know what I'm saying? They 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 was not popping up, and and people started calling her on that. Tasha K started getting more exclusive. She started getting, you know, what I'm saying more details. And she started, you know, of course, it's some things we still never heard about that she's supposed to have, which no, is what it is, but. Our mom is wish that you have. She is a, you know, the to love it. Tasha K is one of the, the white no gang, I was saying seriously, okay, we, we, we can't even, you know, like, the white no gang got her, like, up there, you know what I'm saying? But it's not something that happened overnight. And our mom should only hope that he could get that far ahead while where she is, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, as far as views, as far as, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this woman got a whole other TV show. Like, she got a whole show on what, uh, a whole her own website or something, you know, I hated her, love it. Tasha K has grown. She has evolved. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, like seriously. She got people working for her and all that stuff. I mean, so you would say, you know, as far as like Storm went wrong, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a mentor. I mean, I mean, seriously. <laughs> if you want to be like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, of course, like, yeah, of course, well, wouldn't you listen to him? Warren Buffett? I mean, these are men that tell who are some of the richest men in the world. So, I mean, if you want to be a power, you know what I'm saying? You want to be a good creator, country creator. Why wouldn't you listen to Tasha K? I mean, but in branch off on your own, like there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I watch everybody and I don't agree with everything everybody say. But with Armand, 
is, you know what I'm saying? My thing with him is, you know what I'm saying? I don't like catty. You know what I'm saying? I don't like catty people. And what does that like mean? What does that mean? And when you did your own, you know what I'm saying, things about, you know what I'm saying, about Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, we, we don't sit there, you know what I'm saying? Because that, we sing, like you sing, you know what I'm saying? Some things are just good marketing special. Good job, smart. Okay. But your content is just not solely on that. It's very informative and you read everybody. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you're diverse. But the on and 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 on Come on now, seriously. Find you something else about that. I mean, you know, you don't have to make majority of content like negative about a person just to get by another person. Like, I mean, say what you want. I mean, the catalog be you know, like, you, you can't. I mean, you can say what you want. But to try to down another woman to uplift another woman, like, it's just that, that, that in itself, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not cool in itself. You know what I'm saying? All like, right. It creates more hatred. Okay, like, we thank you. So we thank you so much for calling in. You know, I just like, and it's my whole thing when I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just don't know when to quit. You know what I'm saying? He's just like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. You know, it's okay to have an opinion. But okay. Like, he just, yeah, he just much. All but right. I didn't follow. I didn't follow really well, thank really well. Thank you. Thank you for know, calling in. Hey, got some talking. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank I'm you. He was like, like, you know, I ever heard about white person say, uh, thank you. Because I got black friends. Like. One of those situations, like yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, thank you. Bro, like Thank you for calling in. Thank you. You have like your mommy and Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Baby, I was in orange, but bye bye. No, and I'm curious. Like, thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling in. Him and I mean, I sister, my notifications and he's talking about a certain thing. Sister, and I get a, it catch my interest. I was watching the video. Sister, but, am I gonna watch him be catty and you know what I'm saying? And messy and dance like, am I gonna sit there like that's not what I do? Hello, can you hear me? I like tea. Hello, can you hear me? No, all right, extra stuff. Okay, well, thank you. They don't pay your sister. Thank you for calling me. All right, thank you. Okay, no. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, that's why I do the same. Okay. Lord. <laughs> okay. Uh, 4072, 4072. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello? Uh, 4072. Hello? Hello? Hi. Welcome to the Wiley Show. Hello? Hi. You, hello. I cannot hear you. Oh, she can't. Oh, they can't hear me. That's why she could. Hold on one second. Hello. Hold on one second. Let me reboot it. <laughs> Cause that's what the lady kept talking. Hold on one second. Let me do this. Let me do so. It's my internet, y'all. I got to get this uh, direct connect together. Give me a second, you guys. Let me do this. <laughs> Cause that's what she kept talking. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. Let me reconnect. <laughs> And we have to, we have a direct connect tomorrow too, so it'd be better. <laughs> your show now, press one. Since it appears you're calling back into a live show, we are reconnecting you now. Okay, so hopefully y'all can hear me now. That's what other lady couldn't hear me. She was over talking. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. Let me call this lady back. Hold on, yo. Hold on. Hopefully it worked. It's my internet connection. I know. Because I'm doing the Wi-Fi, you know, wi and I probably got to unplug the box and plug it back in. That's probably what I have to do. Okay, let's see. 4072, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, there we go. Go ahead. Okay, so what I was going to say about Armani, he said that he apologized a thousand times about the whole um, um, girl from, I forgot, from Basketball Wife. But the thing is, he apologized, and I remember he had a live on December 2020, and he went off again. So he's like, you apologize, and then he go off on her. It's just him disgusting as a black man to, to, to talk down a black woman in that manner. He's just very vile when he talks. So that's one thing. The other thing I need to talk about is the fact that he kept saying uh, black, uh, what's her name? Uh, cash doll. He was like, cash doll would never happen. Cash doll would never happen. Oh, you got to tell us that she would never happen. She'll do your commentary. But he's just very condescending 
to dark skinned black women, he has a deep rooted issue. He needs to go see a therapist because of that. Because it's just disgusting how he goes off on black women, especially dark skinned black women. So that's what I have to say about him. Wow. So you you think that I don't think that he have an issue with dark skinned black women. I just think that he, no, yes, he does. He, yes, he, he does. The belief so the fact that people were telling him how he went off on 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 I think I forgot I keep forgetting her name, the lady from a real housewife or oh, oh you talk about OG. You're talking about OG. From OG, yeah. So at first it was the whole OG thing. Like he was just, he was just vile. It was, it's not about his opinion. He doesn't have to think that she's attractive, but the way he was speaking about her was very vile. Almost like he's uh, a white person talking about a black person, like a racist. He sounded like a racist man. I remember that. I even remember commenting on one of his pictures because of how writing a whole paragraph on how he was so dis condescending on another black woman. At the end of the day, we're black. There's this limit. Okay, you have commentary to do, but when you're that bad, we have something to say, period. That was just disgusting. And then he goes December 2020. I wasn't on, on the live. And he, he, went, he, he said again, he repeated the same thing. He was like, oh, I apologize a thousand times. Da, da, da. And then he repeated his exact thought. Again, it's, like, it's, it's December. Da, da, da. I'm feeling this way. I'm, I'm feeling that way. And then repeated the same thing, the same exact thing that people were angry about. He repeated the same thing. So why you get apologized for? So I'm still going to be he, he's, he, 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 I don't he, even follow him anymore. Okay, Armand was just saying in the comments that he's dark skinned. So how can he have an issue with dark skinned women when him and himself is a dark skinned man? That's called deep rooted issues. That's called self hate. He has some self hate. He needs to really find something deep in himself to know why he's that hateful. Why are you talking about cash talk? It's never gonna, it's never gonna happen. Or because she can rap, but there's thousands of light skinned women that can now rap that make that make it happen. So why are you saying cash talk can make it happen? Why? He didn't uh, answer that. So it was like, so it was like, are you manifesting the fact that you don't think that she's ever gonna gonna be a big rapper? But are you got to say this? And he, and he would laugh after it. So to me, he's disgusting. He don't like black women. He can lie all he wants. But the way the, the way he's very condescending and very vile and disgusting when he talks about black dark skin women tells me everything I need to know about him. I can't even watch him anymore because he disgusts me. He's just disgusting to me. All right. Well, we thank you so very much for giving your opinion and calling in, sister. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, wow. She's really hurt about OG. But he apologized for that. Nine two zero one, call your near. Yikes, she's not even blank. Her English is not even together. She sound like Jocelyn. Calm down. It's not even that serious. Like OG is not attractive, but that's not even why I, I called. Dang, Tasha K be lying, and I don't know why everybody say on this. I hate our mind train. Like that's just. I mean, that stuff is weird. Like, we need to try to leave leave that alone because all these people, they secretly be watching our mind. And you can tell that they be watching our mind because they always know what our mind is talking about, what he's saying, what he's doing, how he acting. Like, it's, it's very much, it's giving very much obsessive. Like, so we have to just relax with that. But I'm calling in because I want to know when are you going to do a review on Chasing Dollars? Okay, we're going to do the Chasing Dollars review on Monday because I had got some update information. You know I got to be turned up. I'm doing both episodes tomorrow, and we're going to do Jess Lauren. So that's going to come tomorrow because I'm off. So I got to rewatch the last episode, and I'm going to do it tomorrow. And I already know I got an email from one of the cast members. They said if they see me in the club, they're going to beat me up. So if I get beat up, that's on y'all because I'm covering. They, they don't like it, okay? They don't like me covering oh that show. And one more thing about the cast, <laughs> she really cannot rap. Like it's not that she's an amazing, she's an amazing actress, though. She's an amazing actress. She's a good actress, though. Okay, I'll be watching her in DMS. Yeah, she's really good in that. But she's not a good. She did writer. another song. It just came out. It was hot. You didn't like the other song. She came. I forgot the name. I used I to play it a lot know. on Station Head. I'm not going to lie. The only thing I know that Cash Out ever did was to ice me out. And those are the only words that I know from it. And that's from TikTok. So, like, seriously, 
She's not like, I mean, I remember Armand trying to play one of her songs before so we could listen to it or something like a little clip or something. She just like, I don't really like no basic rapper like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like the nursery rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, I don't like it. And I just felt like she's better as a dancer and she's better, you know, at acting. She's really a good actress because she does well in this field. So I hope she sticks to that and does more of that. But the lady was so mad. Like, why does he say it? Because she's dark and like, not good. So, that's all. I'm about to just sit back and okay. listen to all these other people get ready calling and hate. All right, we thank you so very much for you calling in and giving your opinion. Okay, wow. All right, uh, I think we got one more calling in queue. And if you're calling in, the number is 646-716-8447. We got about five minutes left. And if you want to call in, this is your time. 8303, call you on air. Hello. Hi, welcome to The Wilder Show. Hey, thank you. I just wanted to say in regards to Armand, I listen to him regularly. I've been listening to you here for a little bit, but Armand specializes in uh, female rap. He's a critic of female rap. Okay, first, all the other gossip stuff or whatever he may comment on or whatnot, but, and he is unbiased, I believe. And as for Castall, I mean, she is good. And Armand has said, yes, she's not going to happen because he was rapping and operating out of her element. But she did find her lane. And that's when he, and he did say that. He backed that up to say that, you know, okay, she had a song on TikTok and it was good. And that's more of her lane. But as for mainstream and what she and competing with the other female artists, rappers that were out there, no, she wasn't gonna happen if she didn't. So mm. he was right. And as for uh black women, I am a black woman. I listen to Armand. And uh he doesn't just he may uh, y'all take one statement or one a segment of a show and take it out of contents. Well, he talks about his own people and tells the truth about his own people too. The LGBTQ community when they wrong or when they ain't doing something right or whatever, you know? I mean, I I listen to our mom because um, he is the critical thinker, okay? And I am as well. You know, a lot of people don't agree with things I say, but um, I tried to uh, uh, take away the person. It's, I, I know how to separate the, the behavior from the person. And that I know and I believe that Armand does. And that's why I continue to listen to him. Um, as for Tasha Kay, I do watch her. She's highly entertaining. But she she elaborates and she, she do be uh, stretching the truth, <laughs> okay? I'm sorry, she does. And to me, she's out of age. I mean, she's maybe a couple of years younger than me, and I'm 44. But she's at an age where I think, okay, you can get it another way. You you know, if you, when you know better, you do better. So just for views and all that. And I think that she's doing that now. She's learning, and she's doing that now. So that's all I wanted to say. All right. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you, sister, for calling in. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to go to the next caller. And she said, she said, hey, I am a black woman and I love my wicked. So that'll let y'all know that black women do tune into the show. All right. Thank you, sister. Uh, I think, thank you. Uh, we have another caller here. Uh, 3939, caller, you on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Wiley Show. I was just calling in because a couple of things. Um, a couple of, at first, I had a love hate relationship with Armand, and so I would listen to them sometimes and I would quit. Then I would go back on listen again and then quit because the same issue kept coming up. He does have a hatred for black women. I think he's jealous of them. I think he's in competition with them in his own mind. I think he's one of those gay people that feels like gay men are what's best for black men. He's jealous because 
black with black men in the open without any type of ostracism publicly or privately. So I think that's the deepest root of his hatred for black women. Now he does many things besides the colored comments that he makes, many of them. He also goes on to um, you know, to glorify people who are clearly colorist like Evelyn Lazada. He says his mother is like Evelyn Lazada. Um this guy has a bunch of issues that people just don't want to accept. There are black women who listen to him. These are the self-hating, low self-esteem black women who also have colorist issues. He's not getting and he has self-hatred issues. That's what mm-hmm. happens with black women. And certain things that he does, like our mind used to never say to see it. He did not call black women I understand it's a part of the community, but you know that it's offensive to black women. And ever since that whole debacle don't talk about fear, our mind don't miss a chance to call black women fear. So got an attitude with a black woman. He said, never do that before. But now that you know they don't like it, you come with it. Okay? He was jealous of Tasha because Tasha was a black woman. That's probably why she wouldn't promote him. I wouldn't promote a black woman hating man on my channel either. So why would we probably doing this? Niggas don't even like black women. Why promote him? Well, that's probably why she was really shady. You butt hurt because she stole it and it's from years ago and you ain't never got over it. Okay? So, you know, he, Armand ain't about nothing. He don't have no good spirit. Uh, Storm don't never even go in there with him. Storm has more talent, and Storm is smarter than him. Storm is smart enough not to bite the hand that feeds him. Armand was not. That's why Storm is going farther than him. That's why Storm will always go farther than him. You will never get ahead hating black women. They are too much of a force in the industry for you to get ahead hating black women. Can I like you do. In, interject? Can I interject? Is a black woman that was. You think he's not all that logical? Okay, can I say this? Can I interject? Self hate, self hate. Can I interject? Woman hater. Can I interject? Okay, can I interject? It's some black, uh, plenty black women that follow his channel. So you're saying that all of those black women are low self esteem black women? Is that, did I hear you right? Yes. You, how many women are in domestic violence relationships? I understand that, but. Are in relationships that are toxic. So you're saying that all those black women, the thousands of thousands of black women that tune into him are self-hating black women? Yes, the, the community is full of self-hatred. Our community is full of self-hatred. I disagree with that call. I don't believe that. That's like... Right. People are not there. They are. They're women who are toxic relationships. They get abused verbally, physically, mentally, and they stay. And those are the type of women that he attracts. And those are, that's why he won't get out of that lane. Because he attracts those type of women. I would have and so to. that's pretty much it for me. But I have, but I can't say that. And I, and I, I don't care that much for Tasha because Tasha lies all the time, and Tasha is intellectually dishonest. So I'm not no fan of Tasha's either. But um, I don't think he's jealous of Tasha because they're in two different lanes. He is jealous of Storm, though, because Storm was smart enough to get everything he needed out of Tasha. Tasha has thrown shade at him. She has come for to Storm too. I've seen her do it. But Storm is smart enough to follow his money and not feed into the pettiness. And Storm, that's why Storm went farther than her in half the time that you did, because Storm was about his money, which I think Storm is straight. Gay men get caught up in women's bull-ish. Straight men don't. That's, why uh, that's not true. Straight. I've known some straight you know men that was in women business. I've known a straight man. He was in women's... I've seen some straight men in, in women business. I've seen some straight men in women business cheating on women, you know, jacking up their credit. I've seen a lot of straight men do a lot of those things, scholar. I've I've seen it. I've I've been raised by some that um, used to treat black women like women mess. Beat and women's drama like that. I've I've the seen some straight men. But he's a, but again, Carla, he's a commentator. But he's not a he's not a, he's a okay. He he's a comment. Okay, I want to say this. He's a he, he he's a commentator. What I'm saying is, caller Armand Wiggins is a commentator. You do know that, right? He's a commentator. He, he, that's what he does. He does commentary. He talks about topics and stuff like that. Storm Marrow is straight. He be a, he talks about women on his channel. Do you know that? Yeah, nobody's mad. People for trash women when they do trash stuff. Nobody's against that. So how are you going to defend? How are you going to defend 
that person and then not defend our mind. You get you excuse Storm for saying that he calls them women out and he's a straight man. So that lets you know that he, he does commentary. You know, Charlemagne the God does commentary on women. Is he a lover of black women or not? Uh, we go to DJ Envy, does commentary on women. We can go to DJ Vlad, does commentary on women. So they shouldn't do it. Well, he's not fighting. Nobody was fighting. He was just giving his opinion. That's the difference, Colin. He's not fighting with Tasha. Then he just gave an opinion about what happened. With a and he should have that right yeah. as a man yeah. to be able to give his opinion. And Tasha, the biggest thing between them is that they both are egomaniacs. Tasha is a big egomaniac, and so is Armand. And they're two egos class. That's the biggest real problem between them. Because well, the rest of them are just a blown up queen. Tasha is a real 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 queen. Tasha is a Thank you so very much for calling in, sister. Thank you, and y'all have a good evening. All right, you too. Oh, wow. She had to say a lot. Okay, let's just go to one more comment because I got to go to Clubhouse because Oprah Winfrey on Clubhouse. So we're going to take these last two callers and then I'm going to go on Clubhouse. 9201, call you on air. I'm sorry, 9201. I, I I think this is the problem. It's a it's the black ladies like you that wind up getting dragged because y'all be so invested. Like y'all know these YouTubers. You don't know Armand. You don't know Storm. You don't know Tasha. Y'all be so hurt over sixty minutes worth of them talking about people that we all don't know. That's the first thing. Like I don't know why y'all keep saying Storm got further. The furthest that that form has gotten is a YouTube video. He has not gone anywhere or done anything else that Armand hasn't done. Like, you, what y'all trying to say is maybe because he has more followers, maybe that's making y'all think that he's further. But more followers doesn't equal more money. You get paid on watch time. Wally could be making the same amount of money as them, for real, for real. It's about watch time. You don't, it's not about how many followers you have. Y'all got the time down. And I feel like as listeners and watchers of all these different YouTubers, we all need to normalize that we don't know none of them. Like we should never raise our voice and be so hate and be like, oh, he's self-hate. And this and other. You see our mind maybe two, three times a week, maybe four. I don't know. A total of what, three hours out the week? And you feel like you can say his whole personality and what's going on. I don't think him or Tasha is really holding on to the situation. She interviewed Storm and they came back up. And then Wally, you know, brought it up as a topic tonight. So it's not like feminine energy going back and forth. Like, y'all got to calm down. Like, some of y'all get dragged because y'all need to get dragged. Y'all are very problematic. Look at how hype you just were, ma'am. Like, that's that's ridiculous to be that hype over a YouTuber you have never met. Like, you all over the place. You said, I don't watch him, but then you saying how he acts. You said, I don't watch Tasha either, but then you saying that Tasha do shade ass storm. Ma'am, you need to take some, take some time, get some rest, like, go to sleep. It's a little late. This is a late show. Just, just relax, like, and, and chill out. You don't know these people. All right, we All thank right, you. All right, thank you, sis. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for calling in. Okay, uh, here we go. All right, you back on my you can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me or not. <laughs> why do you why do you, why do you? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> what did you call your thing? Okay, can you tell these people? Yeah. 
that they could have just let me ask you, can I ask you a question? Uh-huh, go ahead. Uh-huh. Why is it when you bring up a topic uh-huh. and I mind you, how is it that I only content I cover on Tasha K is the the the, the nationwide case between her and Cardi B. And however, when she this woman goes on interviews with Larry Reed, she brings me up. She brings me up on the Daddy Twins interview. I didn't go and review this on my channel. Then she went and talked about me on Clubhouse. Then she went and talked about me within her Storm Row interview. And somehow I'm obsessed with her. Why do people keep making this like I just decided to bring her up today? <laughs> I Riley. I think because she's a, a woman. At the end of the day, you can play that woman card at any time. You know what I mean? That Tasha K is a black I woman. You're breaking up. Oh, I'm breaking up. Okay, what? you ain't gonna be able to hear me. I would say it's because Tasha K is a black woman. And that's she's gonna always have an up end because she's a black woman. It's just that simple. Yeah, because I'm like, this whole thing turned into like somehow I'm jealous of her and Storm, and it's like they were talking about me. Yeah. In an interview. And, and, and so I, that, that'd be the part that it's like, I can't win for losing because people have already have it made up in their mind. It's like, nigga, y'all got y'all subscribe to the app. She brought me up. I didn't go do no interview about her. You remember, I don't know if you guys seen the Jason Lee when I first time I went on there or anytime I go with Jason Lee. Even when he throws shots at Storm or Tasha K, what do I do? I act like I don't know them. You know why? Because I'm never, and I want you to hear me on this, I'm never going to go on a platform that's about me or that's bigger than me or in a situation like that and make my interview or my moment about one of them, especially at House of Kent. I would never go on Jason Lee. I don't care. He can, act, he can talk shit about her all day long. Guess what? I don't know her. It's about me. I'm not about to talk about her. I would never go on any main like platform that is a is a look for me and be addressing beef that I got with another bitch. Cause it's not about them. I don't do that. You've never I, if I went set with Larry Reed. I'm not gonna go talk about that. I, I I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that? It's not about them. I have I have more to discuss than shade from them. But these people when they do the interviews, they bring me up. And that's what gets clipped in the front of the video. You watched that Daddy Twins interview? Did I go live? No, you didn't. Why don't people ever talk about that? Did I go live and, and drag the Daddy Twins and drag Tasha K when they use that to promote the interview, Wiley? No, you didn't. You didn't you didn't go live after that. No. No. I know I went live and talked about no. it. Yeah. Exactly. So these are the pieces of the puzzle that people act like they don't want to see because they have so much hatred in their hearts for me. It's just like, and it's like, and it's so crazy that, you know, when we get to this black women conversation, I said Castro would never happen, but I said that she's one of the most beautiful black women on the planet. But they, they never hear that. They never hear when I just sat there and drug Nikita Dragon for Phil for saying that transgenders look better than black women. <laughs> really? Was that? You know, nobody ever remembers that. That was this year. That video got 80,000 views, Wiley. Yes, 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 yes. Why right. nobody talk about that video? <laughs> Oh god. Oh, don't fit the narrative. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah. I thought, yeah. Let's just talk about OG. Yeah. You know, why 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 don't talk about that? When I talk about these gay boys doing things like, come on. And it seems like a lot of these women have an animosity to a bad gay bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like and it's like and like I said, I don't have a problem with Storm, but what we're not gonna do <laughs> Is sit here and act like that's not a straight man to sit here and talk about women shit. He's in the women, he's in the gossip sector of gay men and women. 
straight men don't sit up and talk about the real housewives of Atlanta. Straight men don't sit up and gossip about the real. Stop playing them in the Kardashian. They talk about fucking them. Okay? But let's also be very clear. All these men gossip. Joe Budden, gossip. Drink champ, gossip. Star, gossip. They may not call it gossip. DJ Academic, gossip. We, uh, this is what commentary is. It's gossip. Now, we just, we're gay. I'm gay. So guess what? I like girls. And I like, you know, I like reality. I'm a queen, baby. I like reality TV and female rappers. I'm, I like the housewives, hair, makeup. That's what we talk about over here. That's what gay men do. That's why so many women love us. Because they can get a kiki. We can gossip. We can entertain them. The problem is a lot of them don't like that. We we don't. We 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 got to a point where we're not going to be handbags anymore. We demand our respect as well, and they feel like we shouldn't demand respect. And the other problem is when you have people like me that are confident, and I'm going to tell you, it's not. And I don't understand why people. And I love that other caller that just called in because the the other one said I'm biting the hand that feeds me. What am I? I live in. Uh, let's let's just let's say it. Be very clear. I live in a three bedroom house in California and I drive a Mercedes Benz in California. Let that sink in. I don't live in Atlanta, baby. Okay? I live in California, baby. It's very, it's very now, expensive in means. California. You don't know what that means? And I work and I'm a full time YouTuber. I don't give a fuck who got what. All my shit working, this motherfucker. Let that sink in. But you, when I was at Cardi B party, I had on fresh Balenciaga. Let that sink in. I'm not worried about no what no other what no girl is doing like that. I'm not worried about nobody else bad baby. Let that sink in. Wherever you hear my voice, our mind is clocking in a coin. Be very clear on that. I'm not worried about nobody else, of course. So you telling me, oh, this person went here and they got this? Okay. <laughs> like I said, I'm not worried about what because the things for me, baby. I was at that party. I never, I was never, I never thought I would be sitting that close to Cardi B and shaking hands with Offset and meeting people from the Zeus Network and taking pictures and Ken and telling Tiana Taylor that to keep going and, you know, in a section with Seven Streeter while LMA is sitting there dancing and Seven is smoking a blunt. Bitch, that was dope. You think I'm worried about Tasha K? Girl, come on, y'all gotta stop playing with yourselves. Stop playing with yourselves. Ain't nobody worried about them. Y'all gotta get, y'all gotta get real here. Okay? So, I'm, I know why you got to go, but I just want to, you know, we got to put in perspective. What about the Nikita Dragon video? Where are the black women there? Didn't y'all see that video? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's seen that video, Wiley. <laughs> you said you had a fresh Balenciaga. You had a fresh huh? Balenciaga. You had a fresh what was Balenciaga saying? I'm not worried about it. <laughs> that was the first time I wore those. Yes, okay. Yes, absolutely. Fresh. <laughs> Just cracked the box open for that trip, baby. <laughs> so, like, what I'm saying is, bitch, I'm not like, uh, everybody keeps trying to tell me he's got this and this person. What does that mean? You know, I, I'm not in the South. I'm in California, baby. Trust me. Your money don't go as far here, so you got to really be doing well. That's true. Okay? Money goes further in the South. Leave me alone. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And I'm surviving on my motherfucking own. So I'm good. Y'all don't need to worry about what I got going on, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay. Anyway, okay, why? Well, okay, I'm there fucking with y'all. Okay. Listen, Kevin Samuels. He, the Kevin Samuels is a freaking millionaire. Talks about women like everybody's awesome. So I just don't understand. Where's this animosity? Why? I need you to help me. 
Where is the animosity coming from? Or do they are they just not going to like me? What do you think? I, I, th I think they just some going to like you, some going to hate you. That's just the reality. Yeah. This I, one lady, she had a date. She said December 2020, something had went down. Oh, okay. I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, she even had a date. So these girls, a lot of the, and the one woman that would with the Tourette's that wouldn't shut the fuck up, it was like, damn, she hated me so much, she would have talked the whole two hours. It's like, girl, you mean one, one person hates me so bad, they didn't even know what I'm doing on station here. How the fuck you hate me and bitch you on station here? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> God damn, bitch. You hate me, but you love me too, bitch. I'll see you girls in the morning. Just drop the video too. So go over there and check it on out. And you know what? I'm surprised. It's so many Nicki Minaj people that's mad. They be mad over my opinion. So this is where I'm telling you. So, okay. Last thing and I'm getting out of here. This is how you know when you're doing your job right. This is how you know when you're influential. You see, I got people calling you. They talking about celebrities. Some of these people are mad because of my commentary on celebrities. It's no shame to nobody else. But you think I'm mad over that? If I don't evoke an emotion out of you, whether it's good or bad, guess what? I'm not doing my job. So I got people now mad because or happy because of what I say about a celebrity. You think I'm worried about such and such over here and such and such over there. This is called influence. You're triggered off my opinion over some pop culture shit. I'm doing my job. And that with that, I'm out. You feel uh, me? And that's one nothing that I'll leave you with. Yeah. You'd rather people be mad at you about your commentary because it's like, oh, okay, you don't agree with what I'm saying, but you're doing your job because you're invoking an emotion. A lot of these girls got numbers and views but no one has a no one gives a fuck about what they say because they ain't said shit. See, at least me, I say something. I, I stand on what I say. A lot of these girls get up here and just make you laugh. Now I make you laugh too. But bitch, I'm gonna give you somebody said here's the critical thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna say some shit. A lot of these girls get up here and hoo hoo and hoo hoo and say a bunch of cat out the bag bullshit just to get the views real quick and get up out of here. But they not starting no conversation. I create conversation. That's the difference between me and them. Some of these girls break the news. Some of these girls run skits. I create a conversation. And depending on which way the conversation goes, you may feel triggered. You may agree. You may not agree. And this is why I will always be that person like this. And it may take me longer to get to certain areas. But guess what? When I get there, it's going to be cemented and more memorable because it was – it. It, it was a harder grind to get there because, bitch, I got there creating conversation. So somebody that might like me today, I may drop a video tomorrow and they may be in their feelings and unsubscribe until the next video. If I was just up here, who, who, a child, who, 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 just saying a bunch of fluffy bullshit, I'd probably get the views. But girl, there's no influence. No one's talking about me. No one. People, no one's, it's not memorable. Who wants to be, who wants to be non-memorable? Not me. I'd rather be known as that motherfucker that was a straight shooter. You liked him one day, you didn't like him this day, but you know that you can come and y'all gonna get into some motherfucking things and you have a good time. You might laugh, you might hate the nigga one day, you might hate the nigga, but you know you're gonna come back because you're gonna wanna know what that motherfucker got to say. Period. And that's just how I roll, baby. I heard that. And you should roll the same way. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Your opinion. Yes. You know, and, and like I told you, I don't care if you drag me. And I'm saying, because I know the people, they be one you drag. I don't care if you drag me. It's not about you dragging me. I've always told you, you don't have to kiss my ass and suck my woohoo. If you feel like you need to drag me, drag me. The only thing I've always told you is, Whenever I get mad at you, it's because, bitch, you be knowing the full story, and sometimes I be feeling like you just go with the YouTube version of the story <laughs> when you know that that's not the real story. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I hear you. <laughs> and so, and so, and so, that's why I said, I don't care if you be like, I'm honest, 
you know, whatever you feel about me, let it. If you think that the voice chat is boring or if you think that my music is trash or you think that my views or you think that I'm a narc, whatever, that's fine. You think that, oh, no, none of these celebrities going to come on my show? Oh, that's cool. You think I'm a share proper blogger? <laughs> you got to do that. I'm not, but I'm not offended by that. I'm not offended by that. Because you still got to entertain your audience. Right, right, right. But, you know, <laughs> you still got to entertain your audience. So I'm never going to tell you not to do that. But it's just, bitch, when they be trying to say all this weird shit, it's like, no, nigga, Armand, you was, we was, we was, we, we was back in the gap creating motherfucking logos and shit five years ago, nigga. Yeah. yeah. So these people, they just get me introduced. They don't know when you was over there with the fuck. The Vaseline. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I remember that. They don't know when I was over there bitch, going viral and breaking the source. And you end up bringing up this one story that I forgot about when I interviewed the man from Post, Post Nightclub. Post Nightclub. That was a legendary interview. It was. That was huge. Mm -hmm. or, when, or, when, when the, or when the when the boyfriend murdered the other man, his boyfriend because he seen his he walked in on his nigga cheating. Yeah. Nigga, I've been doing that shit. Or when the when the gay boy went and punched Whitefish in the back of the head and knocked her out in the 7 Eleven. And then he went to jail. Mm -hmm. Let's be very clear. I remember Lovely that. He got a video on her channel from Lovely P got a video on my channel that and Tommy Sotomayor got videos on my channel that they took from me from breaking the Bobby Valentino story. Yeah. I go way back. Be yeah. very clear on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before I even knew, you, you, we go so far back. It was when Jacob Kohiner. Yes, yes. Was taking my videos off. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. I know. Yes, you're right. <laughs> that was before the transition. <laughs> that was before the transition. That's why she stay out the way. Because <laughs> remember, that was a whole nother thing. <laughs> oh yeah. That Sorry. woman used to have me come over there, and that woman used to have me come over there and do all kind of creative direction and interviews and all that and bitch wouldn't even give me a glass of water. <laughs> and who knew that she was getting paid? You didn't know that. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't know that she was getting paid on YouTube. Remember, we didn't even know with YouTube, how did the shit work? <laughs> and I'm doing ride along cards. I'm doing web series and the whole, that's why everybody like, you gonna do a web series? Bitch, I've been there, done that. You did that already, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. You interviewed me about the web series. About the web yeah. series, yeah. By Shady Rainbow or something like that. Because remember, even they was they was playing in my face then, trying to make me look like I was the member, like the broke blog, like the broke, the broke uh -huh. blogger that's never gonna happen. <laughs> remember? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know. I remember yeah, that. I remember that. 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 So that's why when you and you carry on that bullshit and you act like, oh yeah, Tasha K. Right, 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 right. When you when you go, uh, cause you know she's good for that. Oh, I knew him since 2016 and yeah, he has 33 subscribers. It's like, girl, huh? Why do you just and she just be adding all kind of time to it? You'd be like, girl, what? I bet you wasn't even on the internet in 2017. <laughs> like, bro, why are you out here lying oh, like man. this? Oh, and man. these women, they just be so mad at me, so they just go with it. It's like, girl, why are you doing this? <laughs> uh, oh, and the Kaya piece. I really like Kaya. I think she was entertaining. I just felt like um, Kaya should have she could have just said something. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could have just said something. And I felt like I wasn't even dragging Kaya. I said nothing malicious about Kaya. Um, but it just goes to show you um, where... Oh, and I want to say this, too. Since we're talking about Kaya Madison, I got to say this, and then I'm really done. I'm never jealous of Tasha K. I'm not jealous of more. You know who I look up to? I look up to T.S. Madison. Be very clear. I want everybody to understand that. Tasha K is nothing that I aspire to be. T.S. Madison is everything that I aspire to be. T.S. Madison is who I wrote down on my vision board in 2015. 
I, it was a Natasha K. And my chalkboard vision where it was T.S. Madison. And to this day, T.S. Madison is doing her motherfucking thing. I'm drafted with T.S. Madison has passed a reality TV show. T.S. Madison is a universal picture film. T.S. Madison has a Netflix fucking movie coming out with fucking Gabrielle Union. T.S. Madison was on The Breakfast Club. Bitch, Tasha K could never. That is not the trajectory that I'm looking at. T.S. Madison, when Kevin Samuel, idiot. Those are people that I'm looking at. Kevin Samuel is a man well put together, well spoken. T.S. Madison is a, is, a, is a part of the LGBTQ community, and she, she started as a blogger with the Queen Supreme Court, fell out with Kaya, and maneuvered her motherfucking way into fucking Hollywood. That's who I'm looking at. Tasha K is low-level shit. Be very clear. I'm Be very clear. T.S. Madison really is eating the girls up. Be very clear. So y'all think it's small mind, bitch. I'm looking at the big picture. I'm not worried about Tasha K. That's small money. T.S. Madison is in big shit. So that's who I look up to. And as far as the Kaya situation, I thought Kaya was smarter than that. Where is Kaya now? I mean, honestly, where is Kaya? I, I think she's opened up a, a lounge. The best thing she had going for her with people, the best thing she had going for her with people reacting and reporting on her content, it was keeping her alive. Where the fuck is she now? Yeah, I don't know either. I thought she was opening up a business, I heard. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not worried. People are talking about you were still from Kyle. She, she should have kept a nigga stealing. At least we would have seen her. At least we would have sent people over there. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah. It is what it is. All right. So, you know, we have to come and wake that up, Wiley. Take okay. That, child. <laughs> I want to know, what about the Nikita Dragon? Oh, and tell Flame Monroe. Let's, while I'm at it, Flame Monroe. Girl, I knew Flame. Uh, you see how Flame Monroe was being phony like that? She went and lied and act like she she didn't know me. Girl, you was all in my DM from 2016. Girl, what's the tea, Flame? You was mad. Flame Monroe, I don't understand how these women, men, however she want to be addressed, you can sit up here and get misgendered everywhere in the universe, in the country. You go against your community just to hopefully get, you know, in these spaces with these straight people. So you'll let these people misgender the shit out of you. And then you mad at me because I did a reaction to a comedy thing. And I, and you know, people think that people think that, oh, I did that because it was unwarranted. See, this time, though, a lot of this sector of YouTube doesn't really understand YouTube. And a lot of these people are either hella old or just miserable because this is the only sector where I feel like people don't understand content creators and the culture of YouTube. And I say that to say, like, this is the only sector where a bitch can't do a house tour because somebody's watching your money. Or a bitch can't, you know, show they be happy about their car because a bitch gonna feel like they're not gonna super chat you no more. Or a person can't go and dig up react, dig up videos and react to it without somebody thinking that it's beef. React, if you look up reactors, reactors go and find interesting shit that they think is funny or mm -hmm. people send them shit. It can be old videos, new videos. It's original content and they'll react to it. They're presenting something new. A lot of times when you react to something, it's not always something that just happened today. So when I've seen that video, I had seen that video a long time ago, but people have been requesting reaction videos. So I did three videos that day. And I thought that would be a funny video to react to. It wasn't anything malicious to it. It was, oh, girl, this is some good reaction content. People may have not have seen it. This is different. Let me go in and add something different to the channel. I did a whole reaction about these two, these men that are married to women, but they, they're attracted to men. That video was old. But I'm a content creator. I don't wait for motherfuckers to do something and copy them, bitch. I am the standard, bitch. I will figure it out on my fucking own. So this is the thing. I think when people see me move, 
they get confused. Like, well, this is not what everybody's in this sector is doing. Bitch, I don't move like everybody in this sector. This is why me, and that's why they're, they're them. <laughs> that's the difference. We're not the same. So, yeah. So, a lot of people thought that that was shade towards flame. And really, bitch, I was just, I didn't feel like talking about celebrity gossip. So, girl, yeah. I thought that was a key, and bitch, I wanted to kiki. Now I didn't expect her to feel some type of way. I thought I thought she would actually be a good sport about it, but clearly she was not happy. <laughs> and she says she's not going on that rinky dink YouTube show. She's going on ABC, not doing yeah, that. Yeah, she don't even get no views, so I'm not worried about her. But you got to see who she's close to. She's cool with Tasha K, so I'm sure there was a conversation about me at some point. Um, so yeah. All right. Okay. I'm finally done. I, I think I've addressed it all. Why? Okay. Thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Uh, bye-bye. Uh, I'm just seeing some of y'all comments in here. Uh, y'all saying, when is Wally going to go on a my wicked show? When stuff happens, it's going to happen, you guys. Okay. Uh, but we're doing a show. He's in the title, and he have every right to call in, and we're going to let him call in and give his side of the story. We got two more callers, and I'm going to get my closing remarks. Okay. Wow, it is 1043? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I can do my paper tomorrow. All right, I didn't know it was this late. Uh, 5309. 5309. Hello? Hello? Hi, you called back in? To the Wiley Show? Yes, yes. So I just wanted to, you know, come out of the bushes really quickly. I am on work, so I'm at work, so sorry, guys. But I just want to say I love Armand. I love Tasha K. I love Wiley. I love Thor Monroe. Um, I don't think that there should be a problem with that. No one should have to choose a side. We are all free to like or dislike who we want. Um... Uh, as to Armand, there's nothing you can do to make the Tasha K lovers love you. Um, I'm a wine though. I'm, I, I'm out the bushes. I'm, I'm, I'm all of that. You know what I mean? Like, nobody should have to choose. And so, like the person was saying about the caller that was really hyped, I agree. Like, there's no reason to be hyped about people that we don't know, you know. Um, and I just feel like they should... If they can't hash it out, then Tasha K should just stop talking about it. You know, stop making a, a talking point. You know, stop making cash off of it. Just leave it alone. You know, it seems like he's not worried about you or what you got going on. So, I mean, just leave him alone. And like I said, I love everybody. I watch everybody. You know, I'm a fan of everybody because everybody has something different that they bring to the table. You know, so. I'm going back in the bushes and back to work. <laughs> All right. Well, we thank you so very much for calling in. 90 seconds. All right. Thank, thank you. you. No, no problem. Uh, 4072. 4072. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I just have one point to address. Armand asked, where is the animosity coming from? And the fact that he called uh, OG a monkey, that's the thing that made it disgusting. See, he keeps saying on the call, oh, I just called her ugly. I don't think she's attractive. 60 he seconds. Another black person ugly with the history of black people in America and everywhere else. That's the problem. And then that same year, you get on live, basically repeating the same thing after you apologize. So I think it wasn't even December 2020. It was December 2019. So for two years, I don't even watch him anymore based on the fact that he apologized and went back on live and said the same thing again after calling another black woman a monkey. So it's not about saying that you think she's ugly. You called her an animal. That's number one. Number two, um, this is something that can get a big celebrity canceled. And he's acting like he, he's not doing anything wrong. I follow all these YouTubers. I think they're entertaining. I, I pay for the Patreon. I subscribe to their membership because guess what? I Ten seconds. think that if I can support another black person, I will. So I don't think that he's as lighthearted as any other person he mentioned. No. When you call another person a monkey, an animal, at that point, I don't even see you as a decent person anymore. And then you apologize and you go back on your words. That's all I have to say. This is where the animosity is coming from. 
Well, I thank you so very much for calling back in. But like, listen, he is a lover of so many black women. You're just, are you black? Yeah, I'm definitely black. <laughs> okay, you black. Yeah. And you were offended by his comments. You do know he apologized for that, right? Are you aware of that? He repeated the same thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He repeated the same thing on the, in December 2020, his year recap. Sorry, 2019. It was December 2019. It was a year recap. I don't know if he was drunk. He, he mentioned the year recap and what happened that year the issue with, with, with what they call with OG, and we, he, he repeated the same thing. So, like, how can we take you seriously if we, that basically tells us that you apologize for people? Because you went back on your year recap, December 2019, repeated the same thing, and you said, fuck it, or something like that. You don't care. You said what you said. Like, a whole bunch of nonsense. So that was disgusting to me. That's something that gets people canceled. And you, you are here in the crime. People in about black people, I don't care. But I, I'm very firm about where I stand. I like everybody, I like every race, but I know that if we don't come together, we're not gonna move forward in as, as a race in general. So I know what I'm planning to do in my life. I know what I'm planning to do for my black people. So when I see it coming like that, I can never stand and be like, oh, he's cool like any other YouTuber. He's not. And when the last time you watched your Marvel because I'm just trying to get it clear. You watched him when? December 2019. He was doing his year I'm sorry, recap. When, I, went, I understand that, but when was the last time you watched him? When was the last time? You... I don't watch him anymore. I don't. I'm, I'm on the Wally show right now. So okay. Watching him. I understand I don't that. Watch him. Okay. You don't watch him. But when was the last time you watched him? I'm just, I'm just curious. When was the last time? It's been two years, That's what I'm saying. three December years. 2019, when he did his year recap. Well, he he wow, really? Really, he have definitely changed yeah. ever since that point of view. He have evolved, I think, in his point of view uh, when it comes to that. And he have apologized for that. But I think it's just like a Kevin Hart. How how many times can a person apologize for the same thing once they apologize already? How many times? He, he, he repeated the same thing on his eyes. That's what I think. I, I, I was like, okay, it's cool. He's apologized. I'm moving on. And I'm going to gear recap. He repeated the same thing. And he said, fuck off to, to everybody else that was you know, saying stuff in the comments. Mm -hmm. So he's about what he's about. He did not change to me because he repeated the same thing on his life. Okay. So what is what is the apology means if you repeat the same thing over? And you, you say fuck up to anybody that don't you know that says stuff. So why apologize? Why even address it again? Okay. Well, well, listen, thank you so very much for calling in and uh, thank you for your opinion. All right, thank you. All right. Okay, so uh, we did this video, and we knew it was going to evoke emotions. That's what I'm about. Uh, Y'all don't really tune in when we talk about other stuff, so don't get mad. Oh, Wally, why you got our mom wiggins in the title? We got a name in the title because y'all are watching, all right? Despite what y'all say about this man, y'all are commenting. I have new callers I haven't even heard from in years uh, calling in as well. Oh, he sent me a text. Oh, my gosh. I ain't going to be able to read it because I'm on StreamYard. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me see if I go on StreamYard over here. Give me a second. He said he sent me something. Hold on, you guys. He want to read the text. Hold on. Let me go to let me go to StreamYard on the computer. Y'all bear with me. <laughs> well, we got some shopping to do tomorrow. So I got to um, do a, di a direct connect. So bear with me. All right, hold on. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Bear with me. I know the sound probably going in. Let me read the text message. Hold on. Okay. All right. Okay. Chelsea in the chat. This is uh Chelsea sent an email. Can y'all hear me? Give me a second before I go and read this. Let me make sure y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Hold on one second. Let me know in the chat if y'all can hear me. All right, give me a second. Okay, y'all hear me? Okay. So, um, all right, all right. I want to read this. This was an email that I received.
from on my way because this is this email that Chelsea sent on my way because I'm going to read it. My name is Chelsea and I'm applying for the position of being your social media manager. I'm a recent college grad with a degree in communication and media arts. I've experienced the social media marketing that goes back three years and I'm eager to use my skills to help to help grow your business. I have attached my most recent resume as well as my LinkedIn profile with my contact information. I hope to hear back from you soon. I've submitted some work that I've done recently with social media managing and also include my dates that I handle their accounts. My current accounts I'm working on, I did have I, I did have to sign NDA, so I'm unable to release their names, but I also um, included one of the posts. The pictures, the videos, uh, uh, contents are as specified. The uh, bathing suit company was content that was provided to me. The hair salon was content that I created, filmed, and edited. And this is uh, it's Chelsea, and I believe Chelsea's in the chat. Okay, so uh, the year that this was sent back in 20, uh, 2018, uh, December 30th, 2018, uh, was when this email was sent to Armand Wiggins from Chelsea, uh, wanted to work with him. Okay, again, that is definitely there that she wanted to work with the Armand Wiggins show, uh, their point of view. Uh, and uh, he said, quote, tell her to leave me alone. That was what he uh, sent uh, that message, okay? Oh, wow, okay. All right, we read that. We want to say thank you to the Mile Wiggins Show for calling in. We want to thank you to the callers. I'm going to go. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I will be live, but I'll probably go live later because I got to go to the store and get a new mic, Okay. <laughs> gotta get some new equipment all right and then uh okay i gotta get a new mic and then i gotta uh get uh and see what's going on my internet i gotta call my internet company because this this is a fool all right i need chelsea to write my job search emails okay um and so um yeah so not the chelsea in the chat dragging our mind really She's in the chat. What? And this is the Chelsea that works with Tasha K. Is what we're assuming that that's the Chelsea that's working with Tasha K. I don't know what she had to say regarding that. And of course, I would have to email her and ask her if she want to come on and give her side of uh, give her side of the story. But our mom said he left. He did not hire her because he did not like how she dissed her former employee Jason Lee with Hollywood uh, Lock. All right. Thank you all so very much. I'm going to get myself together because I'm going to come back live and talk to y'all. All right. Thank you so very much. Okay. Talk to y'all soon. Make sure y'all subscribe to me on uh, Instagram. I also want to say thank you to my Wiggins. Y'all saying, when is Wally going to be on the My Wiggins show? When it happen? I don't never call into his show. Like, I I, I never call into his show. Uh, I just never call into his show. Usually I catch his live when it's off the air. Um, and everything like I would love to meet him. I never met Armand because I think eventually we will we will meet um mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I know my some of my followers doesn't like him. That's fine. You have your right to your own opinion over here. We don't I don't control how you think. Everybody in this have their own mind. Um uh, and stuff like that. You just never know. I might be on his show tomorrow, I might be on it next week. We might link up next week. You just never know, you know. What I'm saying? Even the same thing with Tasha. Whatever happens is gonna happen, but I do want to thank my producers. For the love and for the support that you all have given me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Okay. It's gonna, it's awesome. All right. So I want to say thank you to the support of the, the people. Uh they said, Wally, if you call in Amar Wiggins, he will hang up on you or don't answer. Again, I, I never Candace, I don't know that to be true. I don't know that to be true. But we um we talked and um he came on our show and it was awesome. It was great. I just we could just be happy for everybody. Let everybody let everybody shine. Let it let every, let everybody shine. That's what I want to say. Let everybody shine. I love all the moderators. Shout out to Deborah, shout out to Shante, shout out to Bright Star, shout out to Armin Bar09, shout out to we have two Shantes. We have uh Puppy Love, shout out to uh who else is in here? All our moderators. If I didn't say your name. Shout out to, uh, I think we have in here, Mouth Open. All the moderators, shout out to y'all all. Let me let me see. I'm going to shout out to all the moderators for a second. Give me a second. I can't remember all their names, shout. Hold up. Let me see. I'm going to just shout out the moderators. It does an amazing job 
Uh, they they stick with me when we go at it. And I want to say thank you to all the moderators in the house. Give me a second. I want to read the list of the moderators. Y'all bear with me for a second. I'm going to read all the moderators. Do we have it in here? I'm trying to read the moderators. Is this it? Okay. Shout out to, um, of course, T Tori. Always shout out to Teacher Shawan. Shout out to D Vlog. Shout out to Day. Shout out to Shante. Puppy Love. Also want to give a shout out to Armor Brawl Nine. J Love. Nurse Nicole. Deborah. Mouth Open. Blue Skies. Bright Star. And Shante. Thank you to you all. Y'all have just been a amazing supporter of the show. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to all the members. And I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. All right. I'll call it to the show one day. One day I'll call it to the show. Okay. All right. And then if you hang up the phone, if and if he hang up, uh, if you hang up the phone, then y'all can drag me. Okay. I'll call it to the show. I'll call in. I'll call in one day. All right. Go live so I can call in. <laughs> <laughs> go live, go live, hit the live button so I can call in. So I can call in and talk to you. <laughs> These people, they just love the vision. <laughs> and if you hang on the phone, y'all can drag me in the comments. Y'all can say, see, he got hung up on. All right. <laughs> all right. We the next time he go live, if he has the phone lines open up, I'm going to call in. Okay. Hopefully, you don't go loud when I'm at work. I'm going to have to leave my job, get in the car, and I'm going to call in, okay? Okay? All right? I did say they had tacos at Cardi B party. I'm a comedian. It's my job to have fun and joke. That's it. Okay? All right? When is he going to go live? Okay, is he, is he live now? Do y'all want me to call in? Let me see if I can call in. Is he live now? Somebody said he's live? Is he live now? Okay. <laughs> is he live now? Do you want me to call in? Is he live now? Is he, is he live? Is he live now? Is he live? Hold up. They said I should call it. Is he live? <laughs> Hello? How about the end? Oh, <laughs> oh, did you want to add something else to say? Because I'm still alive. Oh, oh, no, no, it's good. Well, no, she's trying to act like it's not her. It's just you. This, but that's the point. This is the thing with Tasha, girl. Your people even wanted to work with me, bitch, before they came to you. That's why she don't want you to put my name in the title. Bitch, that's called influence. Oh, now what? Oh, okay, I know you were still alive. Oh, yeah, I said, okay, I'm about to end it. I'm about to end it. They, 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 okay, okay, I'm about to end it. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. All the views. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we end it? Can we end it?